Hi Hello! Everyone. Oh no, Hello. Cthulhu is here! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Welcome to this Hello stream. Yeah. Where we're going to play Call of Cthulhu, Call which of is Cthulhu. out today. Yeah. Brand right. new, hot off the press. Based on the Cthulhu mythos. Yes. Of H.P. Lovecraft. Yes. Who was quite a terrible bad. man. Yeah. <laughs> but his, uh, his, some of his books were all right. Yes, so. and his uh, take on cosmic horror has mm. been enduring. Indeed. Um... You know, Guillermo del Toro has a weird life-size waxwork of him in his house. That's a bit alarming. I can imagine going... Just in a closet, does he just open it and go... So I think it's just in his lounge. Like, he go in and out to get mm. like, drinks at the middle of the night. You see that <laughs> looking at yeah. you. Uh, weird, wouldn't it? Uh, thanks for joining us, everyone yeah. who has. Uh, let, us let us know how we're looking and sounding. Yeah, let us know where you're watching As from, usual. what you've been up to. Uh, we're through a re loading screen now, so I'm going to... Or mostly through a loading screen, so I'm going to switch the picture... Um, the pumpkin is on, everyone. Yes. I hope you've noticed. Yes. Here it is. Mainly because a load of people mentioned it in the chat yes. before we <laughs> even started. So. The pumpkin. It's fully on. Um, I, I've clicked to enter madness, Andy. Why would you click that? Click the opposite. What's the other option? Don't exit enter, exit, exit madness. madness. <laughs> enter light, en exit night. Uh, it starts with a Lovecraft quote. We're off to Never Neverland. Yeah, we are. Uh, people watching from Utah. Nice. Right, hello, shout out to Utah. Oh boy, we're covered in whale guts, I think, Andy. What? Why? Why are you in a whale? What did they tell you about? <laughs> I think we're inside one. Oh god, there's a shark. Oh. First scare is just a, a dead shark, <laughs> basically. I mean, starting strong. Yeah. With the sharks. Oh, I've passed out. Oh, good. All right. Well. Why am I covered in fish guts? <laughs> I suppose I'm a detective. It's my job to find out why I'm covered in fish guts. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's not much of a detective if you can't figure that out. That's true. Uh, Reckless Rex is here. Hey, Reckless Rex. Ian from Eurogamer wants to challenge Mike to ghost mode in Hitman 2. <laughs> no doubt the chaos that inevitably ensues in such a meeting will greatly pre uh, please Cthulhu. Yes. As such, Cthulhu demands you make this happen. Praise Cthulhu. Okay. Well, I'd better stay on his good side during yeah. this playthrough, that's for sure. Okay. It, that would be no kind of game at all. No one would ever do anything. <laughs> Score a point. We'd be in the minus, on forever. minus points. Yeah. Why are you in a cave full of fish guts? Because uh, it's the tutorial cave, you know, where you learn how to crouch and things. In a cave? Yeah. Why a cave, though? Well, I'm probably investigating some cultists or something, aren't, aren't I? Counter darkness. Can I... <laughs> you have to light up an item. But how do I... To get a get a light. Uh, that looks like it's a light, but I'm getting no prompts to pick it Go up. Go around it, get that light. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. I suppose right. this one's on, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> then you can counter darkness, see? What was that one? Oh. You couldn't pick the thing up. I because... see. All right. You've done this cutters. detecting thing now, before. Quite the detective. Yeah. I uh, I was reading something about this game, and it's got the um, the mechanic from the tabletop game, right? Where you have like a level of passive wisdom. Yes. Where the game just doesn't show you stuff if your wisdom level isn't high enough. That's cool. Like the, your secret knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like you don't even the game doesn't even display the things that you don't know are there. Oh look, I've thrown away my bolt cutters. Like in. Are you serious? What is it with horror games and you throwing away vital equipment? Are you right. sure you didn't just drop them? I'm pretty. No, I don't think <laughs> so. Um, I, anyway, I, I think I'm supposed to go this way. It's just single-use bolt cutters. I'm being tutorialized, Andy. Man. It's oh, good, is uh, it dead? Good... Oh, free Willy, dead Willy. It's a good move on the bolt cutters part. It's like uh, Gillette razor blades. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You yeah. sell so many more that way, won't you? Oh, Willy. Uh, Spiffy Mark was talking about the music, saying the official theme of the Halloween season. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Correct. I'm going to be listening to it all year. It's so good. Welcome to uh, new member Bailey Sater. Hello. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Hello. And thanks. Bella Boucher says thanks for all you do. You brighten my day. Shout out from the Midwest. Nice. Mike, you're my favourite. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Even after the terrible things I did in yesterday's <laughs> well, 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 I even surprised myself. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, JP Corkery says, really enjoying the, st uh, the streams. Wish me luck. Got a job interview tomorrow. Good but luck. In but in a shocking twist, I'm the interviewer this time, uh, not the applicant. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, nice. Well, be sure luck. to ask the classic questions like, what would you say your weaknesses are? Yeah. And do you think you could take me in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are their, fa their faces are all weird. Why haven't they got faces? They look like not quite ready. Why are you a faceless person? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, is this a dream? Is this a weird the, dream? the face textures just not loaded in? <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, he's got a Davy Jones arm. Yeah. 
We look like uh, sort of not quite ready yet, Agent 47s. He just got terminated. He just got Kano'd. Yeah, you know who he does the yeah. got to kill <laughs> Oh, it was a bad dream. It was all a bad dream. <laughs> so stop sleeping on the couch in yeah, the office. Exactly. Wit. With a with a <laughs> bottle of whiskey next to you. Oh uh, yeah, I hate whiskey. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to consult my whiskey. I mean, my diary. Um, uh, occult. Uh, no occult information. No inhabitants. Apparently, I'm going somewhere near dark to dark water. I guess. Dark water sounds chill. Yeah, yeah. it sounds lovely, doesn't Seems it? Seems like a nice place. Uh, but even like Bright Falls in Alan Wake, which sounds lovely, was awful. So, <laughs> um, what do I want to add? Occultism. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Because then you can see all the secret stuff. Okay. But what about psychology? I've got no points anyway. A lot of people sad that Jane uh, can't be here. Yeah, she'll be well into this game, I think, probably. Yeah, definitely. So. She is currently on her way back from Australia. I have business here. So, uh, I'm just going to check out my certi certificate of membership. Looks good. I'm an official detective. But yeah, Jane's probably doing Cthulhu stuff in the sky. Yeah, probably. Raining right. down terror yeah. upon people. Uh, let's turn the radio off. That's enough of that. Welcome to new member Dylan Dermo. Hey, Dylan. Jason the 13th Natural says hello from Pennsylvania. Happy Halloween. And to you, Jason. Yeah, happy Halloween to everyone watching. Uh, Harriet Bedford spent the day stop motion editing. Can That's chill cool. Now. That sounds painstaking. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Yeah, well oh, my done. phone's ringing. It's a case. Oh my god, it's Cthulhu. I'll take the case. <laughs> like that. <laughs> 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 oh, I... That's my name. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy Sheffield. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Oh, Halloween candy while Lucy's oh, yeah. chatting. What have we got? Uh, we've got Haribo Orangina because orange is a Halloween colour. That's about as far as I got in terms of justification. Also, okay. they're delicious. Good. Yeah, these are French, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. You can get them at the um, replay shop in the Garden Or. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Which is what I stock up on every time I'm leaving France. And you've got character points. It's okay. important. Put them all into um, the occult. Okay. Or eloquent. Oh, no, wait. Spot hidden. Spot hidden. Where's that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I feel like we need a fair amount of this, don't we? Mm. But what else do we need? Uh, what does occultism do? I don't know. Let's just bang some into that Yeah, anyway. just, just whack some points into occultism. Why not? A bit more fun, isn't it? Um, Zach Zilla one says, If I had a dollar for every time I woke up covered in whale guts... How, how many dollars would you have? <laughs> <laughs> one dollar. Yeah, several. I mean, one dollar is too many. Yeah. Um, investigation. Analyzing crime scenes. Oh, let's get chatty. Oh, we, yeah. Also, I mean, crime scene analysis is is useful. Okay. There was I played some of this at preview, and I tried to autopsy someone, and right, it went bad. Yeah, they were just like, "Well, he's dead." I could have nice. learned more if I had better medical skills. Okay. Well, medical then, I suppose. All right. That seems a good balance. Yeah, I like it. Validate. Kathy Ed says, I have a theory that the Slender games accidentally capture the Lovecraftian mindset better than most Cthulhu games. That mindset being, the truth is out there, but you really don't know what it is. Yeah. That's a fair... Yeah, that's a fair also, I, I can't think of any of the Lovecraft games which do a better job than Slender of making you not want to look at things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The whole point of the, the Cthulhu thing is that if you look at these Just things, you'll, you'll be driven mad. Just don't look. But Slender is, you know, it ha gives you a real honest-to-goodness reason not to look at the yeah. damn thing, you know. Uh, oh, Spooky geez. Electric says this player character looks like Andy in Sebastian Castellanos cosplay. Yes, I did say to Andy just before we started the stream that he should get ready for lots of people in the comments to say that it's him. <laughs> Come on, my beard isn't that long. That, yes. you're, that, you're, that's two, two uh, days of misshaving away, mm, maybe. I think, probably. Charisma looks a good bet. Maybe speech check Cthulhu into doing your bidding like Jane does, says Vault Zone. I feel like all games should have that option where you just get really... Oh, look, it's Charles Dance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all games should have that option where you can just talk your way out of anything, including like a boss fight against a giant against Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie A's asking, are you just telling this lady on the phone that you have one point in the occult? <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Staying all this down the phone. Do you know to uh, Ace Donation says use this to buy bolt cutters. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, not single use ones this time. Uh, Draconine says pausing my own playthrough to watch you guys. Ah, oh, cool. cool. How's it been going? Let us know. Yeah, let us know how you're getting on. Um, any, any tips, tips for not dying tips. immediately? 
Mm. Like this guy's waistcoat. Mm. Nobody I've been thinking me. about waistcoats a lot lately, thanks to Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, I bet, yeah. Sarah, Your uh, office door looks a bit like a Ouija board. It does, doesn't it? Does. Yeah. Also, why is this guy wearing sunglasses indoors? Because they all did Sarah back then, all the spooky people, like Dracula, who wore those John Lennon sunglasses. Ah, uh, so there's a painter who I assume has gone missing. Right. killing her family. They all died in a fire. Okay. Sarah... Husband. Was it you? <laughs> As the only surviving one, did you murder them all? His, I'm looking at the pattern in his waistcoat and it's sending me mad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like he bought a painting. To paint yeah. It. What is it? Okay. Let me have a look. I'm trying to lean round. <laughs> uh, uh, is it a painting with Cthulhu? Okay. We need to get through this stuff so we get to the spook, spook town. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a messed up painting, bro. I don't want to look at that. I, I've already lost a sanity point. <laughs> Just looking at your... Freaky ass painting. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Okay. He wants us to look at it. Wow. Wow. It's pretty. What am I pretty good. Claire character looks like Andy, about age sixty, and been battered with a cheese grater every day in the intervening time. Wow. <laughs> goblin. Wow. Real slam on the player character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Follow so that I may understand it. <laughs> Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look, at your I'll look at your picture. I'm going to put okay. my face That's right up against it. I mean, good luck. I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay. Well, I'll see you. I mean, I like the detective stuff. It sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to investigate it. All right. Some more comments. Cool. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message. Breathed a message into you. Gross. Uh, Doc Ellis says, "Hey, from Pittsburgh, play Madden for the laughs." Uh, I would not know where to start. Where they, you know they've got a, like a FIFA style, FIFA the Journey style story mode in Madden. Maybe yeah, we I should take that on. I don't even understand American football. American football. I understand it enough to watch the Super Bowl every year, but that is the limit of my my sort of yeah. uh, American football knowledge and spectating. I went to see a game once, and it was inscrutable. long. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> they're long those games. Also, it was the Oakland Raiders when they were really, really bad. And oh, and so their fans are completely left like halfway what through. Oh, right. And they were all wearing like monster masks. It was weird. Anyway, I'm gonna. I'm, okay. uh, uh, I don't think you should take this painting lightly. Okay. The meaning. The meaning could be exactly as it appears, i.e., Cthulhu. That's what I believe too. <laughs> I like that his entire family has been killed in the fire and he's like, yeah, but I'm going to dress up like a super player in the 80s. He's in mourning. That's his mourning yeah, waistcoat. Morning garb. Um, uh, Jonathan Villa says, love you guys. I finally have a day off to watch a live stream live. It's been a busy couple of months since I moved to Florida. I moved down to work as a PA on a film on film commercial shoots. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, and yeah, Florida's great. So mm. congratulations on the new job. That's awesome, Jonathan. That is what you must I bet the weather's all right in Florida as well. Yeah, yeah. yes. Well, Find rainy or incredibly sunny. Plus theme parks. Cool. That's all the information I need. Uh, <laughs> Maria Pluchnikov says, watching in full Morticia Adams glam right now. Minus nice. the wig because it and I weren't getting along. Right. Loving the Hallow streams. Wait, is that it with a capital I? <laughs> no, no, it's it. Let's right, okay. I wasn't <laughs> sure that the wig was... <laughs> you weren't getting on with Cousin It. Get on my head, Cousin It. <laughs> It's not a wig. <laughs> Sit still. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Jez W says, Hello from Canada. Love Andy's beard. Wow, man. Praise on my beard from a Canadian. That is yeah. Praise from season. Land of great beards. Yeah, thank you very much. Something's queer. And it's not like I have a choice. like I have a choice. <laughs> also, that painting's weirding me out. Can I turn the painting around so it's not looking at me? Uh, oh my god, there's so much to look at in your office. I'm oh doing god, not a very good job of investigating because I just want to get to the Cthulhu, yeah, land, to so Cthulhu land. I basically ignored everything <laughs> that guy had to say. Cthulhu land. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I basically just ignored everything he had to say. Basically said that I'm going to go and find her. It's going to be fine. Cool. I mean, that sounds good. Presumably, you can just stumble through this thing doing the minimum amount of research. How are we looking? Are we light enough? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Good. Not too gloomy. Yeah. Do something spooky, says Sammy Massey. We're getting, we're getting there. We're just going to Cthulhu land. Yeah. And this then, is a spooky loading screen. Look yeah. at those whale bones. I'm going to spookily eat some more Orangina Haribo because it's delicious. Kira Gaming says, I missed last stream, but I made this one. I'm already very ter terrified. But praise Cthulhu. That's, cool. Yeah, that's the way. Get in with Cthulhu now. How's yeah. your Xbox going? Yeah, hope you're enjoying Red Dead. Mm. Uh, Commander, Jose, Commander Jose Arachavala Jake Janeway says... <laughs> 
Please don't descend into madness. We like you too much. Well, you might like us better. No promises. Yeah. If we say we didn't madness. already ages ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mason Wood says, "I am so glad I could catch this live stream. Happy Halloween, and to you. Happy Mason, Halloween happy to Halloween. you. Yeah, we're getting close now. It's Halloween Eve. Yeah, exciting. It's Halloween all Hallows Santa. Eve. Eve. Yeah. Halloween Santa will come to my <laughs> leave you and leave the severed you. head horrible under, things under and, your pillow under your Halloween tree." Uh, Paul C says, watching this while learning how to play Friday the 13th, maybe I'll be in a match with you guys tomorrow. Maybe, maybe we will, because we're streaming Friday the 13th tomorrow, same time, mm -hmm. same place. Uh, we'll, yeah, hopefully have some more um, fun glitches with <laughs> yeah people dancing in their pants at us. We can but hope. All right. All right. We've made it to Dark Water. AKA Innsmouth. Seems Do you think sure. it'll have like the sign for dark water and then it'll just fall off? <laughs> it'll say Innsmouth. And they'll like <laughs> nail it back on really quickly. Yeah. And it'll say population and it's just a picture of a fish. Yeah. Population 1000 because he yeah. lost. Oh, it's the credits. Does it not have an airport? Skip. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's face hadn't loaded in. That's pretty, pretty spooky. Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? He's just asking everyone. Yeah. I like this place, it looks cool. Look at those mountains and look at that bar. Look, look cool. I assume that's a bar. It's like the town from the series of unfortunate events Netflix mm. Charles Hawkins may have been a London lover, but he was a good guy. Okay, so let's run through the details of the case again. Everyone so, birds death. Yeah. That's they, about all I know. They think it was the woman, Sarah. Yeah. Stranded whale. What you need is a good pick me up. Mitchell may not be Are you a fish person? Are you a fish I mean, person? that's that's ominous. As for me, that's a really sinister. <laughs> what, what's the surprise? I'm not going in there. If it's the Hawkins Maybe it's a surprise birthday party. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Welcome to town. Oh, that's nice. good. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay. No, I'm going for a drink, mate. Oh, I suppose <laughs> I ought to go and look at this dead whale. Yeah, no, you could autopsy that whale if you had a high enough. I'm going to go straight in and do it. Do it. Stand aside! Stand aside! I'm a whale. doctor! Medicine! The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. There you go. Only a specialist would know. Oh, what? Am I not a specialist? You're not, you're not specialised enough. Who's Fitzroy? Are you Fitzroy? This is Officer Bradley. Okay. Uh, let's ask about the warehouse. Warehouse 36. Look at all their, oh, they all look so like much like they hate me. Look at them all, they're so suspicious. Also, who's that creepy dude at the back? I noticed they're all covering their necks. Mm. It's because they've that. got gills. Yeah, I know it's because they've got gills, Mike. Because they've got gills, Andy. Because they're fish men. I've read Shadow of Rinsworth. Yeah. Or you don't want to. Oh, no, no. I'm already, yeah, I'm already like slagging off the local law enforcement. It's going to really help me in my investigation. Look, I'm the world's best detective. Everyone stand aside. I want to go and talk to that tall, dark stranger over there. And see if he's got any knowledge. And then I'm definitely going for a drink in the drunken whale Drunk, or whatever it is. Yeah, Stranded whale. Slaughtered whale. Uh, Fifi Labomba says, Got the complete works of Lovecraft for Xmas. Duty guys always banging on about his stories. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. Tried to get today off to watch the stream but couldn't. Thank you guys for being so awesome. Ah, oh, uh, well, thank you and hope you can catch it later on anyway. Yeah. Uh, but thanks for trying to get the day off. And uh, Zygmunt Bijanowski says, Today is my golden birthday. So happy I get to catch the stream. I don't know what that means. Me either, but happy birthday, Zygmunt. Hope Sounds you good, have a good though. Day. Uh, Francis Morris says, Gothic studies last year's back, saying hi from Scotland. Shame Jane oh, isn't oh, here to worship her eldritch lord. Short. Been looking forward to the stream. Yeah. Cool. That suits me. Yeah, pretty gothic, this one. So be sure to study it. Yes. <laughs> what about this guy? What do you know? Tell me. He doesn't know anything. He knows nothing. I nearly stood on his head there. Uh, apparently Prohibition's off, so we can get a drink at least. Ah, oh, sweet. All right. Oh, should we start a bar fight? Yes. I've been playing too much Red Dead. I've <laughs> <laughs> been playing not enough Red Dead. It is... It, yeah, I can see the me and Sebastian Castellanos cosplay thing. Mm. A little. A little. I see it. Well, we're already making friends with the locals. Des Zeppelin's asking what our favourite Lovecraft story is. Hmm. Have you read um, The Rats in the Walls? Not yet. That's hey. really creepy. I have been slowly, like over the course of years, working my way through the complete works. Um, yeah. I don't um, know, really. Herbert West Reanimator. That one. <laughs> have you read that? No. Okay. That sounds um, amazing. Yeah, it's creepy. Oh, look, it's a femme fatale. That's it's Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Right. Yeah. Basically. In my bar, we don't serve trouble. What? No. Who do I'm you not serve? a troublemaker. I'm going to apologise. Yeah. That guy didn't show respect. I behaved like a huh. And I sincerely apologise. 
like a hundred. Huh? Three hundred and seventy. Oh, I guess we uh, were in the Great War. Maybe. Oh, okay. So we're trying to like get in with him. Yeah. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for it. Looks like his head might work both, like upside down and the right way. That's true. Sure. Yeah. So look a bit like a troll, though. Yeah, with really a really big monobrow. Sort <laughs> of. Uh, order a drink. Rock that Whisperer one donates. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Hebrew Hammer eighty six asks, uh, "What is everyone going as for Halloween?" I'm wearing a football jersey and helmet, and combining it with my Harry Potter robe and a wand to make me a fantasy football player. Brackets terrible. That is quite funny. <laughs> Pun based Halloween costumes are Always good. Uh, they're a tricky business. You don't yeah. want to spend the whole night explaining what you are to everyone. But also That's true. they are immensely personally satisfying, I find. Hmm. Do you have a Halloween costume? No. no. Sadly too busy. Not. Too busy to yeah. shopping. I think um, the party I'm going to tomorrow they have like face painting people, so maybe I'll just get face painted up. Like all a spider spooky. tiger. Yeah, something nice. like that, yeah. Yeah. Something good. fully appropriate and completely <laughs> real. Uh Shall I get another drink? Yeah, just keep uh, drinking until you forget about Cthulhu. Yeah. You want a drink? I'll have a second. One. Same again. Here you go. Is, this, is this aiding the investigation? <laughs> yeah, it's ingratiating me with the locals okay, and the right, barman. Okay. Sure. We're going to be best as buds by the end of the night. I thought you hated whiskey. You just said it was out. It gives me cool dreams. That's no moonshine. You can say that. Oh, look, see? Ah. Nice recipe. And one them. more. No, don't keep drinking. <laughs> you want a drink? He doesn't have another line. Things always <laughs> seem to come in through. It'll be the last. They all see. Okay. Look, he's going to give me some information if I just keep ordering drinks. I don't know if this plan is a good plan. And he don't question my detective skills. <laughs> all right, all right. You know what you're doing. You're the detective. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Oh boy. Looks like you sure is a connoisseur. Not bad for a guy from Now you're all drunk. Yeah. Now tell me about the <laughs> warehouse 36. <laughs> you know where this place is. Warehouse 36. Oh, you've saved it up. It's fine. The Hawkins warehouse. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Ariane 71 says, So will we find out that Mike is the real monster again? Why not? Uh, I certainly was yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> it depends if the game lets him. Uh, the Scoot says, managed to catch a stream because I'm home with back pain. Ask Cthulhu if he can fix it for me, willing to sell my sanity in exchange. That's a fair deal. Yeah, I think. I think. Um, if we see Cthulhu while we're playing, we'll definitely. We'll let him know. Yeah, we'll uh, yeah. Uh, feel better. Hope uh, the back pain clears. Yeah, up. back pain sending you our healing vibes. Annoying. And Chase does stuff. Says, all hail Cthulhu, our Lord and Savior, the one to bring the coming age of darkness. <laughs> Good. Oh boy. What can you tell me about? We all knew she was famous on the main. I'm finding out about Sarah Hawkins. I'm doing some actual investigation. Good, good. good. I'm glad. As you insist. Uh, Nightingale Trash says, "Hey guys, can I get a shout out for my little sister Ruby? She's been having a hard time at school lately, and could use some cheering up." Uh, yeah, shout out to Ruby. Yeah, hope things get better at yeah, school. Yeah, things improve. Stick with it. School can be rough. Like uh, kids can be horrible. Teachers can be horrible. The work can be horrible. Uh, whatever it is, though, it uh, it doesn't last forever, and it can feel like the worst thing in the world. But you will get through it. Don't worry. Um, what I'm going to ask? Her style made her famous. How would you describe? Uh, Rock Whisperer once says, "Hello from Wisconsin. What is your all-time favorite candy for Halloween, or just in general?" Corn candy. Candy corn. Candy corn. Why you pronounce? Candy corn is terrible. It's great. It's not. It's bad. It's sugar. <laughs> yeah, basically raw, unrefined sugar. Orangina Haribo, though. Orangina Haribo is amazing, but it's not really Halloweeny. Yeah, I like fizzy, fizzy sweets. Mm. So they yeah, these are great. I like them because they taste a bit more like actual yourself. fruit juice than mm. most Haribo. Reckless Rex says Andy's beard is way cooler. Yeah, take that. Why well, this Edward, guy's beard? Though. Edward Pierce. So terrible. Mm. Uh, I mean, that is pretty. It looks like um, Vegeta from Dragon Ball's hair mm. upside down. It does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Still trust the truth after a uh, Optimus Prime. Hey, wow! Celebrity in the comments says, "I'm home all week because of a workplace injury." Brackets. I dropped two hundred pounds of metal on my hand while welding on it. Jeez. Surely that's just like one of your arms or something. Well, if you're Optimus Prime. If you're Optimus yeah. Prime. But the upside is, I can finally watch your live stream, so I think it'll evens out. Well, man, feel better. I hope your hands uh, feel up nice and quickly. Yeah. And uh, good luck you defeating the Decepticons. Yes. Uh, Find that all spark. Brandon Wooden says, Mike versus Cthulhu, this will be fun. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to have another drink. <laughs> okay, you've had enough, mate. You've been turned away. Cool. Uh, Fitzroy. Wait, where's that Where's that lady? She looked like she knew a thing or two. Oh, uh, yeah. 
murders and stuff. Is this stuff. the same guys who made those uh, Sherlock Holmes games? Yes. Uh, those were all right. Do you remember when we um, played that one where we stranger. trapped a child in the chimney? Yeah, well, Jane wanted us to, to leave this Victorian urchin in a chimney to see what would happen. And he died. What? <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. That is what happened. What's a woman like you doing in a place like this? My clientele is predominantly so oh, you literally says, meant what's a woman uh, doing in a place like this? Oh, right, right, right. So Stash says, I agree you should be able to have enough I'm speech craft to just say, yeah, no thanks, Squid Boy, and get away with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I am wondering what could be going through the head of the child. Uh, Omi Ford says, or Omi Ford uh, says, "Hello from Hollywood. Stranger. Glad I got to catch a stream. I'm usually Ooh. in class when they happen. Have a happy Halloween, guys. Yeah, and you. That Hollywood goes goes in hard for um, Halloween. Yeah. Um, after E3 this year, Jane and I went on a ghost hunt on Hollywood Boulevard mm. um, with a woman who made all her own ghost hunting equipment." And it was um, extremely super strange. functional, <laughs> extremely yeah. odd way to spend an evening. Okay, uh, the lady told me to get lost, which is probably fair enough because I've mean, had three whiskeys. You are three whiskeys <laughs> deep and going on about Cthulhu, probably. Um, who's Fitzroy? I don't know. You're gonna have to investigate, aren't you? Use your powers of investigation. Was Fitz? Uh, was he the guy that's met you and he's now up in the office? A miraculous catch. Oh, maybe. Apparently, I think he probably is. The most significant event of the last eight years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen all this stuff. Oh, who's this? Another fine waistcoat, Andy. Who are you? Hmm. Nightmares. Can you hear things? Algernon Drake. Oh my god. That's a that's a good horror name. I think Cthulhu's already got to this game. He's looking a bit pasty, isn't he? Also, what is with those pit stains, bro? Yeah, dang. <laughs> like dynamiting your arms every morning. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Uh, okay, well, I had a drink. Jeff Lamb says, Andy, do you have any tips for fellow facial hair enthusiasts on how to look presentable during the horrible straggly phase? Uh, yeah, you get some beard oil. Beard uh, just oil. a couple of drops of beard oil, rub that between your palms, and then just smooth it through. And then you can just get rid of the uh, little stray ones. Also, if you've got a beard trimmer, just you know, do that, and then just clip off any ones that are sticking out at odd angles. Just um, you know, give it a bit of a shape. Or... If you want to splash out, you can go to a barber and get an actual mm. proper shave. Those are, um, I don't do it very often, but it's nice to treat yourself every yeah. once in a while. All that sounds convincing as someone who definitely can't grow a beard. <laughs> um, oh. Where's Warehouse? Is this Warehouse 36? I think that's the office where the guy is. If you go up and go in there, All right. he'll be in there, the cool. master. And then he'll be like, there's tell a Cthulhu you, about. I'll tell you what, there's been mad Cthulhus. Oh, he's got here. a good lean on. Yeah. I brought up yeah, it's Fitzroy. See? Okay, he's got the manifest. Oh, I can look at the manifest. Uh, <laughs> Maria Plushnikov is back, saying, "I already cosplay cousin it every morning of every day, so I decided to change it up today." Uh, right, cargo manifests. These are the other one says, "Dark water recently changed from Innsmouth by order of the Board of Tourism." Mm. I mean, yes, pretty bad uh, PR situation with <laughs> that fishman deal. Yeah. Uh, okay, who's who was Charles Hawkins? Was I the, can't remember the the, the husband. Maybe? Yes, the one who got burned up. Mm. All right, you gotta go, go and find that warehouse. It's like over there. He where... told me to meet him on the deck. Oh, okay, he's leading me on a merry chase. Sure. Hello again. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbour. Hard-working wives. He's got a good fishman voice, hasn't yeah. he? The fights are just stranded in the Even the antics of these war wrecks don't escape me. What? It's you who lays down the law around here. That's... Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain. Mm. Of the seems trustworthy. I trust him. What I can yeah, to help. he seems like a totally stand-up guy. OGD Boss 2 says, How much gamer score do you have? I have over 100,000. Wow. I good. do not have and that much. In fact, I couldn't tell you. Six, sixty, totally 60 something, fifty thousand, maybe or something. Yeah, no not a hundred thousand. That's it. impressive. Mm. And I don't um, remember having countersigned anything. Ken Gator says, "Morning, guys. After watching Mike's final go on yesterday's stream, I think I figured out what Ed, what Egbert is trying to atone for." <laughs> Shame. Shame. Uh, Cthulhu would not have been pleased, but in fairness, I probably would have done the same. So, cheers. Happy Halloween. Cool. Thank you very much. Happy Halloween to you too. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Also. Shame, 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 shame on you. And the islands. I've just asked what what Charles Hawkins really did. He specialised in whaling. He specialised in whaling. Yeah, whale yeah what did he really do? What was he really up to? He also, a pain, also a bad painter. Where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, Spill the Cthulhu beans. Inherited, I presume. Although the 
these dates on the manifests. All right. There's a lot of investigation going along on, on here. Yeah. Like, with, with whom? I wonder. Tell me about the warehouse. That warehouse. There's going to be all sorts of octopuses in there. Yeah. Look, it's right there. Uh, James Scogin says, just wanted to chip in as thanks for so much wonderful entertainment. Also, I love the D and D games. I was wondering if you had considered Vampire: The Masquerade tabletop. I yeah. It. No, no, I'd love to do that at some point. Do you role play in it? Hmm. Cool. Yeah, right. in the, it's just in the same sort of way that you do in D and D. Oh, okay. Um, Great. Oh, I think man. Johnny would be up for it as well, probably. I could make such a cool vampire character. Oh, am I going to lie to him? Oh. Yes. Uh, no, wait, no, you've got an unlocked thing. I've got an unlocked thing. Yeah. It's probably for the best. Isn't because it? of your speech craft. Mm. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Ooh. Okay, get over to the warehouse. I'll be on my way. Well, I'll see you so over there. I think. Probably full something. of Cthulhu's, right? That warehouse. Yeah. It's Cthulhu storage. Uh, Dapper Crafter says, first time catching a stream live. Hello, Dapper Hello. Crafter. Thank you for joining us. I'd love to see more D&D. I've always wanted to play, but I don't really have friends, let alone ones cool enough to get down with the D&D. Keep up the awesome content. It really means a lot to so many of us going through tough times. There are usually D&D groups, D &D groups yeah. that you can find of people who are always looking for people to play D&D. &D. Yeah, um, might be a, a good way to find some, some yeah. mates, like-minded people and stuff. Uh, and bump. Yeah, in, in my experience, they're always looking for new people, regardless of experience level. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, we never played D&D &D before. We <laughs> Our experience level is in the toilet. D&D. &D. <laughs> um, yeah, I really hope that you can find someone to play with. Yeah. Honestly, I, I never even considered playing D&D &D before uh, Johnny got us into it, and it's been so much fun. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I really hope you can find some people to play with, because um, yeah, I think it's it's really worthwhile. How could you be dumb enough to leave the I'll come spying on people. <laughs> He's like, how could you leave the warehouse entrance unguarded? Is it unguarded? Great, get over there. Huh. Right. Well, I learned something there. There's an entrance unguarded somewhere. All right, well, you got to... I think... Yeah, there's probably a gap in the fence or something you can sneak through. Who are these guys? Who are you? They live here. They don't look... They just, oh, they've just been drinking. You saw what you did to Saint Brendan. Who's St. Brendan? Yeah, we'll teach you to come on to our island... What did we do to... Did you ridicule his protectors? Was right? the whale St. Brendan? Let's find out who St. Brendan is. I've never heard of this. Is it a local belief? Oh. And everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. Oh man, patron saint of both whales and whalers. Talk about splitting your allegiances. <laughs> yeah, pick a side. Dude, man. stop fences. Seriously. <laughs> oh boy. It's got to be them. There's one of them who's He's got hammered. To the statue. Well, so are you, though. I mean, it's people in glass houses. That's true, actually. Shouldn't drink three whiskeys. Yeah. Who are the guys who are keeping guard, dudes? What are they guarding? Just, just get in the, get in the warehouse. I'm just finding out. I don't know how to get in the entrance. So I'm seeing if I can find a way in. Alfonso Mendoza says, "Will you guys ever do hashtag artillery only?" Do you know what that means? I have no idea what that means. No idea what that means, Alfonso. Uh, do let us know. Uh, Tig says, Andy, your love for Red Dead Redemption 2 made me buy it, and I did order the Beastly Tea Death Walks Among You. Drinking hurts Oh, your wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That's cool. I hope you enjoy Red Dead Redemption 2. I and am, the tea. Yeah. I am enjoying it. I have not had a lot of time to play this week, unfortunately. Mm. Right. I've taken enough of your time. Yeah, you're a busy man, clearly. I can tell you've got a lot of drinking to get on with. Right. Tim Sprung says, hello from Germany. Dark cities and whale carcasses remind me of Dishonored. Seems promising. Mm. I think it's a very different game. Yes, yeah. To Dishonored. What about that gate? Does that open? Can you jump over it? It's mm, head height. No. Is there a loose board? No. Do you have a pry bar? No. Go, go around. I'm sure there'll be a gap or something. If I'd had those bolt cutters still, maybe yeah. it would have helped. They were only in your dream though, weren't they? They were dream I bolt know, That's cutters. true. Dream bolt cutters. That's probably they, they just disappeared. Go there'll be a way in. Just oh, is that St. Brendan? Oh, push the statue into the harbour. See if it annoys anyone. <laughs> I can give it a whirl. Oh, oh look, here that we looks go. like an entrance, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is really poorly guarded. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. this looks good. Illustrated Jill says, Happy Scary Xmas Eve. Hey, Jill. Shout out to my fellow Greg, who spent all his dollars in Red Dead Redemption 2 on the first coat he saw and missed out on the other sweet threads. Oh, no, never buy the first coat. <laughs> oh, there's so many good ones further down. Why can't I jump up this? 
Uh, uh, uh. Is there not a jump button? No, I can lean about and... No. Are you serious? You can't... For reals, it won't let me go up. I'm pressing all the buttons. Wow. That's the worst on you. If I push the thing into the harbour, maybe everyone will come running. And then... Well, what's in here? I don't know. Tom Titherington says, Love watching you guys. Can we do a shout out to Jelly Babies and Wine Gums? Yeah, yeah. they're amazing. Shout out to Jelly Babies and Wine Gums. Wine gums are really old-fashioned sweets, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know. They but like quite the guys who make wine gums also make like sour, sour whatever they are. Those oh, there's some Brendan. That's Jeff. him. Cool. Oh wait. He's oh, here we go. Right? Yeah. Look at. Can you? Oh no. Do do it. Yeah. Oh, some occultism. Look. Saint Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travellers. Desecrated. Uh, Is he the patron saint which saint of Wales and he's carrying a harpoon? Look him up. See if he's a real saint. Saint Brendan. Yeah. I'm doing a occultism check. Okay. Saint Brendan the Navigator. Yeah. Also referred to as Brendan Moku Alte, called the Navigator or the Voyager. Wow. Uh, he is one of the early Irish monastic saints. Mm -hmm. Twelve Apostles of Ireland. Uh, yeah, he's real. The um. The Irish like to say a prayer to Saint Anthony when they lose something. Really? Yeah. Does Saint Anthony help out? Yep. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, okay, he is the patron saint of boatmen, divers, mariners, sailors, travellers, whales, right, portaging canoes, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I'm just gonna try and talk my way yeah, in. Talk your way in. You better keep or fight them. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Don't I thirst a lot of you? Stink. Wow, you're rude. <laughs> Easter Fool says the entire town is wearing I've safety beanies. The yeah, they are. Yeah. Up. They know that they could be spooked at any time. No, like no, it's very simple. <gasps> Rude language! Fuck off. Whoa, hey. Outrageous. You bootleggers, you trying to get us demonetized? Ace says Pierce is voiced by the same guy as Jonathan and Vampire, which, uh, I mean, okay. they look similar. Yeah, well. they do look quite similar. It's just like a side quest. Oh, cat's Here we go. Hold to test eloquence. Hold. Gentlemen, you have a problem. What? Who do you think is you gonna work? For, stranger? Your boss is very unhappy with your work. Oh yeah? You're bluffing. She said those knuckleheads are incapable of staying at their post. Darn it. You think he's telling the truth? We'll find out. Oh. Prove that you really know Kat. Oh no. She uses a stiletto. Yes. It's risky to question my word. I wouldn't like, like you to get cut with a certain Italian <laughs> knife. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You've convinced you me. They were literally loudly She's talking about a stiletto. Yeah. What do you want from us? I thought I made it clear. Let me. It's true. I have to take a look inside the Hawkins warehouse. Leave me alone, and I'll put in a good word for you with Cap. God, these guys are okay. idiots. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Wow. Well, we nailed it. Bit of investigation, talking to some drunkards, and listening to their conversation has gotten us in. No bloodshed, Andy, so far. I don't think it's going to turn into an FPS. Oh, what? <laughs> Why am I even playing it, then? <laughs> uh, Brad Millette says, Thanks for all the streams. Going to watch From Beyond to get my Lovecraft fixed tonight. I have not heard of that, but um, I do enjoy a, a Lovecraft good movie. good lovecraft thing. What's that John Carpenter one? Oh, um... With Sam Neill. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Let's, Let's see. Uh, does it have madness in the title? Yeah, of course it does. Something of madness. That's fun, that one. Do you like Sam? In the Mouth of Madness. That's it. That is a scary, right in the mouth scary of film. I'll have to find another one. Oh, I can't. I'm rub too rubbish to lockpick. Oh, why didn't you put all your points in? Just kick the door open. Yeah, I know. I should There'll be another way in. A little mouse uh -oh. got lost on our turf. Uh-uh. Oh You're not only inquisitive. You're also stupid. Yeah, I am. What gave you the crazy idea oh. to come onto my She's getting a stiletto, Mike. Uh, am I gonna just not uh, say anything? Let me through. Let me through. This muddy alley. Oh, well, that was that was the classic. Choose what seems like a, a, di a reasonable answer. Fancy Papercut says this game is bringing back memories. OMG, I never finished it. It was too scary. Haha. <laughs> Good luck, guys. I love the channel. Been watching for five years. Uh, there was a previous. Yeah, Call of Cthulhu game. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, is a new one. This though. is actually a new one. This only came out today. Oh, am I gonna? So, what am I doing? Attacker. I don't have any strength <laughs> no. whatsoever. You've got to know it will do something. To do this. Of course I do. Oh, am I getting it killed, Andy? Doing it. Oh, God. Oh, my. Whoa. Hello. 
Oh, oh, right in the junk. Oh, right oh. in the junk. Oh my god. Get this joker out of here. He might have a little trouble. Yeah, you. Dang right, I will. God, Cthulhu really, really does exact his terrible I'm revenge. Careless. I didn't see that coming. Ah, man. Well, if I want to get into this warehouse, I'm gonna have to deal with her. Where is she? She's back at the bar. <laughs> yeah. Say so, hey about that whole. Ah, oh, they're back on the. Let's speak. <laughs> Should we see if they just let me in again? Hello. <laughs> uh, welcome to new members, uh, Rip Aside and Fancy Paper Cuts. Thank you for joining Hello. us. Hello, yeah, thanks for joining. And Strangle Me Elmo says, something fishy going on here. Yeah. Drinking that much seems like a high, highly whiskey choice. <laughs> Use this to buy a real shop, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> Will do. Craig B says, all hell Cthulhu, can't wait to play this game. Have either of you read At the Mountains of Madness? I have. Yes. It is... Uh, I Good. must get into here. this warehouse. Oh, yeah. Apart from all the problematic bits. Yes. Edward Pierce, private detective. Zach Host says my class was cancelled today because my favourite law professor is having surgery. Glad to get to come on the couch with my dog and watch this. Did you guys have any favourite professors in uni? Yes, uh, I had a lecturer called Barbara who was excellent, and inspirational, and really cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool when you've got an inspirational teacher. teacher. I had a lecturer called uh, Dave Reason who oh, was um, he taught my so I took a sci-fi class at oh, cool. university that yeah, he yeah. taught, which was uh, he was very uh, yeah very cool. I'm gonna test my eloquence, Andy. All right, go for it. You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh yeah. yeah. You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying? No one's ever interested in the truth in these villages, no. though. Forget it. Uh, Brianna Bennett says, Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! I'm getting to spend my vacay watching you all. My boyfriend and Thank I were steampunk skulls Halloween. for a Halloween party in one scariest makeup. Nice! Good job! That sounds That's awesome. pretty cool. Uh, Matthias Tillman says, Ian from Eurogamer challenged you to Hitman 2's ghost mode earlier, Mike. Do you accept? Yes, I accept. Whoa, okay. Dang. It's going to go down, everybody. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Uh, Dr. Cat says, Is this game worth the 60? Um... I don't know. Well, I don't know yet. Up. Yeah, we've only played. I found a car, so it's getting better. There's a review on. It came out today, so there's reviews everywhere. I read one on Rock Paper Shotgun. They um, weren't super happy. Yeah, I didn't think it was that good. So I said the opening bit that we're playing right now is good. It's good if you can know what you're doing, but I've yeah. no idea. What about you? Let me into this warehouse. Saw what happened with those you need sailors. to talk to don't hang that lady again. Some yeah, with try and find her. I already annoyed her though. Late. She told me to get. Well, okay. get lost, yeah, and then she tried to stab me. <laughs> I mean, you got off on the wrong foot. Something sure. like that. Uh, you know, yeah. talk around. Do excuse me. Mike Lorenz is a new member. Thank you for joining. Thanks for joining. And Emma McCarthy says, I haven't been able to catch a live stream in a while, but I'm taking vacation days. Nice. Hopefully, I will get a promotion I'm up for and get my own office so I can watch live streams in privacy. Wow, that is that's the so cool. Best reason to get that's promoted. So baller having your own office. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, did you ever see the Slender movie? I didn't. No, no. we never actually caught that we one. We were going to do a group outing. Um, but yeah, then no, we didn't get around to it. it. So I guess we'll wait for until it's um, out available. on streaming yeah, services streaming. or whatever. Um, They'll put it on that uh, Shudder, is it? The horror yeah, the horror one. Yeah, I'm sure. John Carpenter wrote a theme for them. Really? For Shudder. That's pretty yeah. cool. John Car I love all the He's stuff John cool Carpenter's guy. doing at the moment. It's great. Uh, is she back in the bar? Yeah, there she is. Hello. Hey, <laughs> I've come back. A drink for oh, she's bought me oh. a drink. Okay. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Why? Why does yeah. that mean we are aching guts? <laughs> Is that what she thinks? It? Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit lower. But you don't hear me whining like a well. pooch who's lost its leash. Uh, Michael Lorenz says, "Got the rest of the week off med school thanks to another Something national holiday here in Poland. Glad yes. finally get to catch a live stream. Nice. Thank you for joining us. All the way from Poland. That's awesome. Uh, Dingbat Wur says, "Normally miss the live streams, but got my PhD work finished early today. Can finally justify tuning in live." Cthulhu Fatagn. Fatagn. I don't know how you pronounce that. But for tag Cthulhu for tag I'm going to tell the truth to her because she's dangerous and yeah, she'll probably stab you. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly. Yeah, yeah. it was the right. But it's also really stupid. Oh, oh damn, damn it! We really don't seem to know the area. Well, no. Let me give you a little advice. Just let us in the warehouse. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, <laughs> we're not talking about the Oh man, come on! Have. She's really ragging on us. I'm just an honest, open person. I, I've got an unlocked health. Yes, do it. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. But we're friends it's now. precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Not at all. Would I have taken that risk? Then get over. Come on. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. 
I, I accept the compliment. Well, well I see your oh, yes. yes, it's going so well. Gonna get in that warehouse with such a charmer, and all it took was getting need in the junk <laughs> wire. Well, I'll go with you to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't oh, cool. concern you. We're buddies now. Sounds Her get up's quite impressive as well. Those like leather finished. studded gloves and. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always... That can't possibly go wrong later on for us, can it? Sure, we'll be fine. I don't know why you're even worried about it. <laughs> yeah. Cornian says, Hey guys, I think Red Dead Redemption 2 is biased against cat lovers. You can pet dogs but not cats. What's with that, eh? Do I? You can praise cats. Oh, There's a little prompt for praise. <laughs> well done. Do it from horseback as well. <laughs> Good work being yeah. a cat. Follow yeah. me. Nobody questions your authority. Velcro Yuppie says, Andy, if you didn't insist on sleeping, eating, and basic hygiene, you'd have more time for Red Dead Redemption That's 2. True. In the meantime, have a pint on me. Thank you very much. And also, that is all true. Why do I insist on sleeping and eating and <laughs> taking care of basic feels like hygiene? It, it feels like humans could survive with no sleep and yeah. food. I could, yeah. For at least a no few basic weeks. Oh, I saw a picture of... Um, the f longest length beard you can grow in Red Dead. Is it huge? It's, is, it a prop is it a ZZ Top Top? It is like Grizzly Adams nice. level. It's good. Is that if yeah. you just don't maintain it at all? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I don't know. You can't pomade your beard though. That would be, what? I, know. I find it funny you get a message when your pomade is worn off. <laughs> yeah. Like it goes, <laughs> bing. It just <laughs> pops out. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you walk slowly, lady. Come on. Shake a leg. Easter Fool says, Andy, hope the safety, safety beanies can save your mind from Cthulhu. Have you looked at Cthulhu masks for Jane yet? Here's another $10 if Jane's standards for squid-themed headwear is particularly high. Yeah. Uh, well, we need to run... We do need to go shopping, yeah. We yeah. need to run stuff by Jane. She's not mm. back yet, unfortunately. I'm hoping we can find something like my GTA Online character as well. Yes, yeah, just a full face. In our yeah. most recent stream. We need to have a... Because no, not all of us are going to be together on Hall actual Halloween tomorrow. Yeah. We need to have a, like, a, a follow-up like belated Halloween yeah. get together so maybe let's we'll just get keep Halloween them. going throughout November <laughs> I think we should do that Hallow Christmas as yeah. well uh, Kate W says my one week day off this month and instead of relaxing at home I've got to get my car battery checked hope you guys are oh, having a better dang. day than me that's that's bad the car batteries run out uh, if you don't drive the car for a while yeah but you can get like little jump starter kits and stuff which will allow you to jump start the car but sometimes the battery just goes wrong and then you need to replace it so it's a bit of a pain but um, hopefully you'll get it sorted soon and be able to enjoy the rest of your day uh, Jared Lund says we're about to have a, an employee appreciation lunch in St. Louis get yourself something delicious and know you're appreciated too thank you oh, thanks. that's really nice of you thank you very much Jared she's just left me now like, I'm about oh. to do all my real hardcore investigations. Yeah, and she's, she's like, get up, get up to it on your own. Yeah. I like that they've got the, the green spooky light in Oh, yeah, it looks amazing. Oh, boy. Yeah. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look so why, good. Why is your, uh, why uh, your eyeballs reconstruction freezing? Reconstruction scene. Whoa. Your eyeballs freezing over. Yep. It's like that, you know, that Simpsons episode where Homer's eyeballs cross <laughs> Oh, they just crazy. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what's just happened. Okay, time for some investigation. Medicine. What's this? These painkillers were prescribed. See, I'm using my medicine power. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins. Oh, yeah. Okay, interesting. Now I'm going to use my fish guts power. Yeah, fish guts look at power. It smells as bad as it looks. Oh, I don't know enough about fish guts. That's all you know about fish guts. Painting. I'm pretty. an art critic. Oh, here we go. Whoever hit it here. What is. The hell? Oh, is that a hand? Oh. What just happened? Did I imagine a hand? I imagine. Ah. ah. Oh, it's a reconstruction. So someone is reaching for it in the uh, past. Uh, or they're weird. worshipping it. Maybe. What about this? That's what he said. Oh, I don't have, I don't oh, have enough I, psychology, do what I? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Interesting. Oh, look. Yeah. Uh, look, I've, I'm making ghosts happen. Yeah. Oh, hmm. my God. Do you the best Cthulhu yeah. investigator? Candles? No. No. Anything else? Well, that's all the investigating I can do. Is there not any anything I else? Can't see any more prompts. Oh, maybe the broken mirror. Psychology. Yeah, it seems clear to oh. me that someone punched this mirror in with their yeah. left hand in the past. Oh, look, it's got kind of like oily. Oh, he's got a ghost of... butt as well. Yeah. <laughs> was he was he naked? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Punching this mirror. Nude mirror punches. Jeez. Why you got to be so nude? Nothing going on here. Grab some yeah. bolt yeah. cutters, maybe. There's no. <laughs> Might need them later. The only floor. There's no stairs or anything. Uh that looks like the only prompt, right? Yeah, no, no stairs. All right, I okay. think you've fully investigated. What do I know? Oh, I earned a point. I earned a character point. Nice. 
Commander Jose Arashavala Jake Janeway says it's time for Insanity Boys <laughs> yeah it is time for Insanity oh, and we have, oh it's a tip we could have used from Brandon Newbat sorry we didn't get to this in time take a left from the bar there's a warehouse with bits of a winch around find them and then and then take a ladder by the door up and operate the winch oh it's fine I just got need in the junk instead yeah. um, and it was fine uh, what am I lacking so I'm lacking <laughs> it's, it said one CP I thought it was like ICP like Insane Clown Posse <laughs> maybe Insane Clown Posse needed before next level uh, shall I go medicine do you think I'm um, or occult, occultism there's going to be more occultism yeah there's going to be more there? occult artefacts popping up I think oh I don't have enough oh oh these can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment okay right well uh... Ghostfire Sheep says hi I just want to say I'm late to the party I only found you recently but of course you've caused many endless caused me endless joy since then so ah I good can't read can't watch live but we were watching the recording tomorrow so would love a shout out to brighten my day shout out to you ghost yeah. fire sheep thank you for joining us, Thanks glad, for joining you, us. glad you found us uh, I need to what do I need to upgrade uh, do a bit of psychology I've done some more eloquence oh I had no strength either did I oh yeah oh, that's, that's why you got kicked in the nods alright yeah. I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna validate that yeah, where's the where's the skill point for avoiding nard kicking? Strengthen crotch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Against attacks. Just like fortify crotch. Put all my points into that. A bony ex exoskeleton over the crotch. <laughs> Develop one of those. <laughs> Imagine um, you striding back into the bar yeah. with like an iron crotch plate. first. Come on then. <laughs> right, I think that's all I'm going to get out of this warehouse. Right? Okay. How do I talking of how do I get out of this warehouse? Uh, the door. I want to say. I'm sure there was a door, wasn't there? This is going to be it, right? I'm out of here. <laughs> Officer Andrews. Call of Cthulhu, return of the nudesman. <laughs> oh, is there a, I'm not doing very... Uh. I'm legally looting this warehouse. Yeah. I'll have you know. The local crime lord let me do it. Yeah. This Should case I... is far from being wound up. <laughs> You're wound up. Wound up? Yeah, you mean you messed, messed up. You mean messed up. Knock his hat off. We don't take no lessons from the likes of Yeah, you. tell him, Mike. Uh, Do our job carefully. And carefully and fairly. And, and with fish people. <laughs> rigor. <Really? laughs> with fit, fishy fish, rigor. Fishy rigor. <laughs> Zach Gallup says, You guys should ask Johnny if he knows about the Cthulhu Mythos book for D&D 5th edition on Kickstarter. Jane would love Cthulhu Adventures. Happy Halloween. Yeah? We will. Yeah. I'm I sure he's aware of it. He's, he's pretty, pretty, pretty up on his up on that stuff, yeah. I must admit Samuel Forrester asks, will you do Christmas streams? I imagine we'll do some. Yeah, yeah there will be streams around Christmas, this certainly. This is the first year we've been streaming regularly, I mm. So, um... I think we did do... Did we do something around Christmas last time? I can't remember. But yeah, we get some Christmas stuff going. Yeah, yeah. Great. It probably won't be as intensive as Hallow Stream has been. But the Christmas challenges will return, so that'll be a fun thing throughout December as well. Uh, and yeah, we will do a Christmas stream. Sure. Imagine if there was a tiebreaker, we could live stream the final. Oh man, yeah. Uh, Tilda the Bear says, Happy Halloween! Finally put out decorations, although I'd love to have more of them, but real spider cobwebs can too, right? They're, yes. the, they're the best of all. The best kind of decoration yeah. is the real spooky wing. Uh, that's why you have a human skeleton in your bedroom. I don't have a human skeleton in my bedroom. <laughs> finally grown a pair. My uh, my dad is a doctor and he has an actual human skeleton that he bought in medical school in the 1970s. And it is, back when it was legal. <laughs> and it is kept in the guest bedroom, which is weird. Can we go to the mansion now? She's so fully covered. It is in a cupboard now, actually. <laughs> which is somehow worse. Like if you don't know it's there and you just open the cupboard. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Ash Ketchum in the Rise says, "Howdy from Foggy Seattle." Hey, Love Seattle. Hey. Yeah, Seattle's amazing. Um, they got that awesome museum there, the EMP museum. Yeah, and that market as well. What's the name of the market? Yeah. Pike Place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <gasps> Look, what? It's the Hawkins Mansion. Oh my God! You've got to get up there. This is just That's like right. the series of unfortunate events. Yeah. <laughs> um, We've got some to... driving to do, Andy. It's my. I'm, okay. This is where all my skill this points. Is, come yeah. In. Finally, Mike's time to to shine. Uh, Ash Ketchum in the right says, I have to get back to work now, but question for later. What's the most beautiful place you've ever been? Love you guys. Keep up the awesome work. Ooh. I, you know, I, Ooh. the area like north of Seattle where I went to the Twin Peaks mm. there, like Snoqualmie and stuff, is gorgeous. And like coastal Oregon as well. Yeah, yeah, the whole, yeah. That whole part of the Pacific Northwest. I would say is beautiful. probably Big Sur in California. Big Sur's nice. There's a... Uh, Back up in the foresty bit. Yeah, there's a cafe called Nepenthes or something like that in up, up that way and it's quite easy to miss the turning off as you drive up yeah um, 
But if you go to that cafe, you can just sit out on the decking and look out over the coastline, and it's just I think stunning. I've been there, yeah, it's actually. really, really yeah. beautiful. Um, so yeah, if you're ever driving Highway One, that is the place to stop off. I would say. Yeah, I went to some beautiful islands off the coast of Malaysia, the Perentian mm. Islands, which yeah, were yeah. amazing. Um, oh, I love also up in the mountains, Meribel, the ski resort. Meribel is oh, really yeah. beautiful. I've not well. been, but uh, I had some friends who went there. Yeah, it's quite often. So it depends on what you're after, but there's some really, yeah, some really stunning places around. Uh, Carl Ramrod says, "Hi, Mike and Andy, love both channels. Good to catch you all live. Since being in Virginia, I'm normally at work. Are you guys planning to jump into 76? We will definitely jump into 76. Yeah, at some point. we haven't had a lot of time, but um, got to get on that beta. I played it at that um, preview event when I was in West Virginia, mm. and it was uh, it was really good fun. I think they let the garden over, <laughs> get a bit overgrown. <laughs> <laughs> well, they all, is this this isn't the house that burned down, presumably. I don't know. Still standing. Well, it's not. It's not burned down, is it? Fully. Maybe it's all like gutted inside. Yeah. The house has been abandoned since the fire. Yeah, I guess so. There's only old Winchester. Old Winchester. Uh, I uh, here we go, Andy. I thought the mansion yeah. burned in a fire. What gives? Yeah. Fire was localized to a single. Yeah, I'm a detective. <laughs> but it still killed four people. Who's Silas? Not soon enough. Yeah, right. What gives? They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas. Probably it was like spontaneous human combustion. Maybe, yeah. Like that guy in that Dickens we novel. Take a closer look at this I don't think i Do you have other questions? Like, which one's the... Yeah, it, there's definitely a Dickens novel where someone <laughs> spontaneous sure? combusts. Look it up. All right. Uh, I'm going to ask about the caretaker. He's Apparently Charles Dickens' movie, belief though. in spontaneous combustion no, no. sparked yeah. a Victorian craze. Yeah. Oh, Bleak House. Yeah. Back as I can remember. Crook. There you go. Like a Spontaneous human combustion isn't real, right? No. Time. It's not a thing that can happen. No. But he, he Crook gets really like and hot and then just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Was he like, he'd only written himself into a corner? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, now how, uh, uh, how am I going to get out of this? <laughs> Uh, Susie Williams says, watching you during my uni workshop, worth it. Well, uh, <laughs> Hope the workshop's on gothic literature, maybe, yeah. and you can get away with it. Uh, Joshua Bradley donates, thank you very much. And Ishan Dynesian uh, is a new member. Thank you for joining us. Ah, thanks for joining us. I think it's going well, by the way. Yeah, you're about the mansion. Found out a bunch of stuff. Um, he's a sturdy man. A true force of nature. A sad old man. Captain Summer wants to know if it's okay to call their horse in Red Dead Redemption 2 Horse and Wells. It is. Yeah, you're allowed. Go ahead. You have our blessing. Many more horses. Let's not waste any time. Night falls quickly here. <laughs> and I want to be a night falls quickly here. I mean, it's going to be much darker than it is right now. Right now. Only to reassure Silas. Random select points out that this is the well, Winchester mansion, yeah. like that spooky right, right. Winchester mystery house. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe it's full of weird corridors that go nowhere. I can't believe he's like, "Whoa, we better get this done before night time." You <laughs> got the freaking headlights on in the car. Like it's, it's gloomy, haunted. Anyway, I'm bringing the police. Oh, the policeman's going this way. Oh, I'm bringing the policeman with me because he's going to take yeah. care of the caretaker. Well, he'll get. He can get eaten by Cthulhu, and you can run away. Uh, haunted. A yeah, that'd be good. Haunted angel statue. Looks good. Investigate. Use your arcana. Uh, Olu Lago or Iago. It's I can't extreme. tell if that's a I or a. Okay, so it says Nepenthe is near my hometown. It's hard to get there now that part of the highway fell in the ocean. Yes. Yeah. There was a massive like landslide, and and basically that road was blocked for ages. But I thought they'd reopened it. Uh, Limo 2000 Co is from Portland slash Tillamook. That's um, cool. Yeah, I spent some time in Portland. Uh, I've not been to Portland ago. yet. I'd like to go. It's a cool city. Um, there's a lot of nice food trucks. It's where stuff. Nike are based as well. Yeah. There's a food truck there called Potato Champion that just does french fries. That's pretty like, cool. Charles, Charles Hawkins' great. grave. Who could have done this? Why is Charles... I told you. Silas Winchester so he's, put, he's buried him already family. in the graveyard. I must say it's pretty gloomy. Well... So detective. I don't, I don't know. Does I'm not going to tell you how to do your investigation, off. Mike. Right. But I think you should exceed that corpse. Okay. Such a strange well, final resting place. I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins. Mm. Strange idea. A lot of people Webster really freaked out by this guy's teeth. Yeah, everyone in this game's teeth is, seems weird. But maybe it's because they're tiny fish teeth. <laughs> Let's go to the mansion. Oh, boy. Do you remember when we discovered that geese have teeth? That was a real roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was actually. <laughs> what is it? Okay. Right. Get in that grave. Get in that grave. Yeah. Root around in it. <laughs> Rummage. Look for Cthulhu's. I don't think I can investigate anymore. 
Can we go in the manor now? Oh, look, it's Sarah Hawkins' grave. The flowers. <coughs> Sarah Hawkins. <coughs> fresh. The old, the old caretaker. caretaker must be very attached. Okay, we should talk to that caretaker. Yeah. Come on then, Bradley. Let's 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 get up there. Why did you bring us to the graveyard anyway? Uh, I don't know, just so we could confirm that they're dead, maybe. You come in, Bradley. I think he's probably going to hang around in the graveyard. Alright. Well, that's not at all creepy. Uh, I assume this is the way up to the mansion? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, a big no, tree. Big tree's falling down. Maybe the caretaker can, can help. Fire. It's as if all life is abandoned. Oh, I've got an axe. It's sturdy. Well give me the give me the axe. I want it. Sturdy. Oh. Dennis Hayden says the next ten sure. missions are trimming that yard to a presentable status. <laughs> yes. Uh. Yes, I'm an amateur tree surgeon as well. Oh, look at the view. There we are. Not at all uh, foreboding coastline there. There's jagged rocks. Uh, oh, look, little patio furniture. Oh, what's this? It's a clue. It's a small wooden whale. Okay. A lot of people thinking that that statue's a weeping angel. Oh god, don't Dr. say Who. that. No, they're creepy. Let's hope not. Yeah. You know they added those to uh, The Witcher 3, right? As an easter egg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, that was, um, we had that in the video, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, up this way. This has got to be the entrance. Zombabe says, just want to say thanks for the Halloween streams. I love watching horror games but can't play them myself. Last time I tried I got the hiccups from being so tense. Oh man. man I appreciate you guys. But you're a Zombabe. Surely like the... <laughs> You should be well at home in horror things. Well, zom I think zom zombies are different. Yeah. The axe is quite like <gasps> psychological horror. I, literally, in the time it took me to walk around here, someone's grabbed the axe. Are you serious? Mm, yes. That's not cool. No. Uh, who else is here? There's the caretaker. Uh, like, yeah. I would back up if I were you. No, Just, I'm going straight in. No, but like, I'll have to find don't turn your back on where the axe is. Right. That's fine. So just moonwalk everywhere. Okay. In case someone runs up on you with an axe. Right. I, I like can't it. do this. I've got to Wait, go. What's that? It's a chair. Okay. <laughs> Patio chair. I thought it was a cathedral. Maybe it's from here, from this set. I think. So what? This place has been abandoned for three weeks. Apparently so. Yeah. Ah, oh, here's this the entrance. Is still in your yeah, it is. Oh, look at that leather jacket, man. Look at the stitching on that. Yeah. See it. Crikey! It's sewing machine the size of a building. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Now there, friends. Let's. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick. No need for that, sir. Right? All right. Put down the axe. You know how we do it, rubber like you. Where's Officer Bradley? Who is going to yeah. deal with this guy? Dump them into the ocean. <laughs> I say, I say, fight him. Test my strength. Your yeah. sister Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. Well, that worked. Easy. I'll show you. Now kick him in the nuts. <laughs> yes, it's a trick I learned from the whatever of it. Right, what am I going to go for? I can grab his axe. Uh, do not defile this place. It's unlocked. Okay. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here. I unlocked yeah. it by looking at the flowers, didn't I? Nice. See. It's true. I want no more. Well, put, well, put the bloody axe, axe down, then you jerk, dummy. <laughs> It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Yeah. Understood. Danny Blue says, hey guys, thanks for all the spooky streams. If you were to design your own horror game, what type of horror would it be? Oh, I was thinking about this this morning. I'd like to... I'd like to... I know Battle Royale is the thing, isn't it? But can you imagine like a horror Battle Royale that was a bit more survival horror-y? Like 100 days. Yeah, but like basically when you got eliminated from the Battle Royale, you became a, like a special infected from Left Dead, Left Dead or something It could be like the end of Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, but where it's just all the different yeah. monsters coming in. And <laughs> as, as the Battle Royale gets... like As it gets whittled down to the winner, there's more and more horrifying monsters. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're like crouched in a corner with a kitchen yeah, knife with like, yeah, with, like or six bullets. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I want to play. That's that the horror game I want to play. Uh, Edward Sablin says, Hi Andy and Mike, thank you for everything the Oxfam does. Can you wish my flatmate B good luck in his job interview tomorrow? Good yeah, luck. Yeah, good luck. Hope you get the job. I hope it goes well, yeah. Mrs. Hawkins was an exception. Hope you get the job collecting pollen. Um... Uh, I'm sweet talking the janitor. Probably I'm doing a really good job. Good. Now kick him in the nuts while he's, <laughs> while he's while his guards down. Uh, Christopher Boston says, "OX from WWE 2K19, what animal-themed wrestling alter ego would you become to deal uh, to team with Demon Bauer 
against Bray Wyatt and a mind-controlled OX member. That's quite a complicated scenario. Yeah. Animal-themed oh. wrestling. Well, we had Lion Face, didn't we? Oh, yeah, Lion Face. He so, could be even more lion -themed. Yeah, we, we could have him even more... Not even just Lion Face, but Lion. Lion. Just Lion. Yeah, lion. yeah I like it. Now oh, now you show up, Officer Bally, when we're menaced by an axe. Yeah, I need to got axed. Then you'd have more murders on your hands. You're right. Let's go. You jerk. All right. Kick that door in. I've got the lock. I've got the key. Kick it in anyway. <laughs> and then Show kick the guy business. in the nards. Yeah. Kick everyone <laughs> in the nards and enter. Let's take a look inside. Silas is off. Boris Fraser says, Red Dead Redemption 2, Undead Nightmare. That would be great. That would be cool. I would love to see I that. hope they do it. I My suspicion is they'll spend all their time making online DLC instead. But it would be great if they do some uh, single-player DLC. Giggle Raptor says, Perfect stream to Pumpkin Crave 2. I assume <laughs> you mean Pumpkin Carve. But also... Maybe they're might, craving the pumpkin craving to carve pumpkin. later. But, you know, pumpkin can be quite nice if you put it in a pie. You can roast the seeds. Yeah. That's, I mean, I'm crazy. But pumpkin pie is really made seeds. by all the stuff you add that isn't the pumpkin. But yes, if you are pumpkin carving, uh, let us know how it's going. What yeah, kind of, what and what you're carving. You're yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Michael Schmidt says, I'm going to try and catch the rest at work. We all appreciate the way you guys held down the fort this past week. Always entertaining. Oh, you're welcome. Much. It's been fun sharing this stuff with you. Yeah. We love playing horror games, and it has been a great excuse just to play horror games for like two weeks. So... All right, let's see what else everyone's saying. Bit of chat about spontaneous human combustion going on. Oh, yeah, cool. So that's good. Bring back wrong, wrong Jeremy. <laughs> wrong Jeremy. Wrong Jeremy is terrifying. Someone re made it for one of the recent... Yeah, for the new WWE. Yeah, so I need to download uh, that. They sent a picture and it was it was horrifying. So. I love that people like really responded to that because I didn't really... I've never, in a video, never mentioned wrong Jeremy by name. But I just that's just what I called him oh, yeah. in the in that character creation video and people like really responded to it, so well, this is the last oh, geez. delicious. Oh is, this is that a Cthulhu head? I don't know, do a reconstruction. <coughs> okay. Do they not have people to like come in and clean up all the food that's out and stuff? What is it? in fact, what has this Who's caretaker it? been doing for the last <laughs> having a delicious meal? Right, let's what even is this? Medicine. What did it used what kind to be? Of meat is this? Use your medicine. You don't have enough medicine that's, skills. That's to know I don't what know. It is. And that's literally the only thing to. Go and look oh, at the other side of it. See what it is. Let's have another slice of it. This place. This place is for the head of the family. Oh. Oh. Charles Hawkins. There we go. That's what Charles Hawkins looks like. Another yeah. top beard. <laughs> there. What's going on over here? Anyone sitting here? No. Ming bars. Look at, the, look at the top part of the meat joint. It might have a head or something. Oh, oh just so like, it's definitely a Cthulhu head. Yeah, hundred percent. They've been having slices. But of at least Cthulhu. we don't have to worry about Cthulhu anymore because he's been served up for dinner. Yeah. Oh, smash plate. The boy. The was boy the was probably here. Smashed his, smashed his plate on the floor. Oh, and the dad's. He's furious. Off. Yeah. He's like, "What? You don't want my disgusting Cthulhu meat? Yeah, for dinner. You'll have it and like it. And right. is this Sarah? A nice slice of Cthulhu Sarah for you. Sarah Hawkins plate. Because it's because it's horrible meat. Cthulhu meat. Why are you eating that? And Charles is like, come on, Something just eat happens. it. You'll be part of the cult. It'll be great. You become a fish person. It's cool. <laughs> oh, is that how you you become a fish person? You I guess so. You eat the weird meat, meat probably. What was that weird Cthulhu movie we watched? Set in the coastal town. Like, quite modern. Oh. It was based on Shadow of Innsmouth, like they yeah. all are. Uh, but it was, it was really bad. What was it called? You find that out, I'm going to do some investigating. I'm going to follow the officer around and hope that he gets murdered first. <laughs> like in Dead by Daylight yesterday. That would be, yeah. <laughs> He's going to kite Cthulhu around. <laughs> Operation Meat Shield, <laughs> Officer Bradley. Operation Meat Shield. Uh, look up Shadow. Was it, just, was it just called Shadow over Innsmouth? Is it like a modern remake of it? Hmm. Adaptations. Film. The 2007 film Cthulhu, was it that? No, I don't think so. Uh, Dagon. Oh, Dagon. That Dagon, was that was it. It was bad. It was bad. But entertaining. Like when that guy like uh, was chatting up that lady and she turned out to be a fish person. The child's, the child's corpse left <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, here's hoping for this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, I'm... Oh, I smashed all that. I had a fight. Velcro Yeppy says, let's try an experiment. Please say hello to BT. Hello, BT. Hey, BT. Hi, BT. Are you let's good? That, Are you being good? Works. Rune Factress, BT is a cat, by the yes. way, that's why. Yes, yes. <laughs> We've not, just yeah. FYI. <laughs> not, uh, We're yeah. not addressing a human that way. What's that under there? I want it. It's a 
gem. Of what's that, and what's that question mark? Oh, uh, look at the clock. Did it stop? Ah, uh, look, we can find out what time it was. Ah, it was 10 to 12 or 10 o'clock. I can't tell. Which one's the longer hand? We had this problem with Dying Reborn, didn't we? I think it's 10 o'clock. Yes, yeah, yeah. 10 o'clock. Uh, Rune Factory says, Thought I could catch it this time, but alas, I can't. Love you guys, though. Have a spooky Halloween. Thank you, you yeah, too. Yeah, hope you catch this later on, though. Huh. Have I done it all? Or it's not giving me the prompt to... Oh, uh, there we go. What's that? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Is it green because you have a skill? I think so, maybe, It wouldn't yeah. be there if you didn't yeah, have it's skill. telling me to keep, keep looking. Okay. I think if I need to... I need to crouch, don't ah, I? Ah, of course. Yes. There we go. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? Oh, no. What's going on here? Oh, my God. There's two of her. So we found the extra clue. That's quite cool. Thanks to your investigation skills. Yeah, yeah. Nice. But there must be another one somewhere as well. Otherwise no, it's, it's ticked now. But I've still got an oh. objective to... Ah, there we go. That's oh, the one missing painting. Painting's gone. Painting Whoa! Yeah. It's a full-on tentacle... How come it yeah. Burn? With, and it, it's signed. How come it didn't burn? It's because it's painted in, in Cthulhu. Yeah. Blocks door. Apparently I'm not interested in that. Anything else? That's the smash door lamp. I feel like I'm missing something. Which is exactly the sort of thing a detective would say. Uh, er, er, er. Fireplace. Uh, Fireplace. Real Grog says, I'm sad to see the end of these streams are in sight. So let's hope the Xmas season brings a whole bunch more. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being the best. We, we will definitely do some streams around Christmas time when we will be feeling super festive. And we'll be wearing Christmas yeah. jumpers, no we'll doubt. We'll wearing Christmas jumpers and hats and drinking uh, eggnog Someone and such. Escaped. It'll be great. Someone escaped the fire, Andy. That was the final clue. Oh, okay. Who was it? Don't know. Someone naked <laughs> with a nude butt. <laughs> Why is everyone <laughs> naked in this? <laughs> Evil Queen of Cake says, I always hear Clue in Scooby-Doo's voice. Clue? <laughs> skids. I can't do a very good Scooby-Doo. Oh, look. Here we go. We've reconstructed yeah. it. This was a, that was a fight. I can do an alright Shaggy. Oh, like sawing Scoob. That's pretty good, yeah. Thanks. That's pretty good. Uh, Ishan Dionysian says, Hey guys, love the channel on Extra as well. Did any of you ever play the older Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth? Yes, I did. Was it good? Yeah, it was all right. Uh, it was all right. A little bit clunky, but spooky, definitely. There's a bit where you go and stay in the hotel. And I think this appeared in our bad hotels feature. Oh, is that where they all come and try? Yeah, and get, get you're in the middle of the night. You wake up and they're all like trying to smash the doors and you have to escape out the window. It's pretty cool. That was good. Yeah, but it's very similar. To, I mean, this is definitely heavily inspired by it. It's official. The police botched this investigation. You idiots. Apparently, my Scooby Doo sounds like Yoda. Firmly oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Your Scooby Doo. My Scooby Doo. Like Yoda, sorry. What's your theory? The couple had a fight. I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. Sure Are you sure of that? There's only one, There's way, only to one way to be sure. Uh, Olivia Delvoye says, Olivier Delvoye says, I love your Halo streams, guys. Keep them rolling. There'll be another one tomorrow. Come yep. watch us play. Final Halo stream, yeah. It's going to be good. Uh, Geek Lifestyle says Halloween treat on me My business keeps me busy Don't have time to play games So I play vicariously through you guys Oh that's cool Fellow mics play alike Yes Yes Oh and an update on the BT uh, Did it experiment. work? No Velcro Yuppie says She gave the speakers a dirty look oh, Looks man. like BT is team Jane all the way Man Faithy and Rosie are team Ellen This door is locked No one is team <laughs> No Andy one's team us or apparently Or Luke Dang Oh look a rat Maybe it's a clue Wrenchman177 says, Hey guys, as a Ben's tech in Maryland, these live streams have been great for my lunch breaks. Happy Halloween. Ah, oh, cool. Happy Glad they coincided. Uh, I just learned some medicine by reading a book real quick. <laughs> you just, <laughs> just, just skimmed it. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I can do brain surgery yes. now. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't how you learn medicine. Yeah. Well, they're on the right. Mystery. Bandages. It's a mummy. Bandages are covered. There's a mummy, Andy. What? But who's? Oh, my God. <laughs> There's fully a mummy wandering around here. A half nude That's mummy. That's what, what the nudes are. They're mummies without yeah. their wrappers on. Should I set fire to all these cobwebs? Yes. Yeah. What's yeah. that letter? It's uh, mysterious. I don't know. Are you seriously going to put a letter there and not have it be an interactable object? Apparently. Apparently so. Apparently thing to do. Why would you do that? I mean, this place all looks fine. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know where Officer Bradley's gone as well. Look at that. Steaming lamp. That's a bit weird. <laughs> it's like a, a vaporizer. Yeah, you can just vape up. Oh, you can read that one. Yeah, it's the lyrics to the drunken sailor. The drunken sailor. Ooh, rain up she rises. Sea shanty. Probably don't need to write that out. It's quite easy. <laughs> you're yeah. having real trouble memorizing. Oh, this in the morning. Yeah. 
I don't lie rather than early, right? An original edition of Oh man! <laughs> Bit of the gothic, the gothic uh, <laughs> literature go. in there, yeah. Yeah. Bradley, what are you up to? Oh, this is a cool. Like, if it wasn't super haunted, this would be a really cool library to just chill in. Look at that! Look at all those books. Giant spider web. Burn that up. This place was, this place was falling apart long before. All right, well that makes sense. Otherwise, that uh, caretaker is super bad. <laughs> activities. Well, well, not much to be honest. We all, we all. Rex says, "Don't walk worry, guys, I'm on Team Anti and Team Way." <laughs> yeah. Well, have a word with me. And you're a Tyrann Tyrannosaurus, yeah. so like that's better than a cat, probably. Evil Queen of Cake says, "Favorite cake flavors." P.S. Get that P.O. box sorted. Yeah, we've got to do that. Yeah. Favorite um, cake flavor. Mm. Red Velvet's always good. Yeah, Red Velvet is great. Red Velvet. Uh, I like the you know the standard birthday cake with the buttercream and the jam. Oh yeah, yeah. It's pretty. It's a it's a classic. Uh, anything salted caramelly or toffee, -y. sticky toffee pudding is probably my favorite dessert. I would say. Can't make a cake out of it. Can you? Oh, that looks like my desk. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. It's like remarkably similar. Yeah. Um, Okay, big skull. I do have one of those phrenology heads. Yeah, but like, it's a bit awkward to get to right now. Another story about the mysteries. Ah, oh, twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Jules Verne. Ellery J knew there'd be a creepy library. Yeah, of course, there it's always is. Bloody typical, isn't it? Absolutely it's typical. A creepy library. Yeah, we get it, Kithu. Like Are they books? like dead moths or something? Yeah, that's a bit weird. Or petals that have fallen off the... Oh, yeah, you know, that's, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Probably that more. makes more this sense. This place would be really nice if you just, like... Spruced it up a bit. Just set a Roomba going. <laughs> yeah. Come back in a week. <laughs> and it would have done the whole... Whoa! That was a creepy painting. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? What was, was creepy that, was, was that the woman with Slender? Was that... Yes, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just hanging out with Slender. Slender, Slender painting. Why? Why would you do that? Maybe they're pals. What's Bradley looking at? Has he found a clue? Is he a better detective than I am? That big painting over the thing is also quite creepy. It's a very um, loose style. I quite like it. Yeah. Paul C says, I'm team Andy, Mike and Luke, except when I'm team Eleanor Jane, it varies. Love you, right. <laughs> right. Well, thank you. That's very diplomatic, Paul. Fence sitting. <laughs> Oh, Kira Gaming says, I love the Xbox X. Thank you guys for getting me into yeah, it. And, oh, I also love Friday the 13th. And thanks to you guys. I know exactly like what to do first, first game. game. Yes. I mean, don't follow our, our style too closely because yeah. I quite often get murdered. Call the police. That's the best way to escape. That's true. Also, yeah. Doesn't someone come back as Tommy... What's his face? Only if you radio for Yeah, him. <laughs> that's good. Moby Dick. Moby so we've got Frankenstein, Moby, Moby Dick, Dick and Le whatever, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah, so these are all the books I had to read at university. Reading, yeah, Whaler, or I guess. my gothic literature, of course. He keeps getting his thing out, his zippo. I beg your pardon. <laughs> he keeps getting his zippo. Oh right, sure, Andy. <laughs> Just because there's new butts everywhere doesn't mean you have to lower the tone. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't. What am I? I feel like I again. I feel like I'm missing something. You just got. Have you gone upstairs? Have oh, here's another painting. Family painting. Burn it. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> Is there like an investigation sense you can press to see what's interactable with? No. No, I thought I'd done it, but it was lightning. <laughs> it was lightning. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Rainstorm says, hey guys, it's my birthday later this week. Can you say hi to my cat, Oscar? He keeps me company during the speakings. Uh, happy birthday to you for later this week. Yep. And hi to Oscar. Hi to Oscar. Well done on the company. Cats don't get spooked, do they? No, not at all. They're, they're, they're famously brave. They're a supernatural being themselves, cats. Oh, oh, that's yeah. horrifying. Yeah. Right, if you get ghosts, system. you know. Cool, yeah. that's fine. I mean, that seems totally fine. Oh, why? He's blocked the. Also, why can I not just walk around yeah, it or just climb over climb it? Climb over it. It'd be easy. Shall I just open the front door and leave? <laughs> yes, I think you should. The door's blocked from the outside. The door is blocked from the outside. Um. Richard Anastasi says, I've been watching you guys for years and I really appreciate all the work you folks put into your channels. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for sticking with us. It is a pleasure. It is, yes. Melissasaurus nice. says, you have another dinosaur on Team Andy and Mike. We have a Melissasaurus on site. Excellent, cool. <laughs> That's great. The full menagerie. We're like halfway through Jurassic Park. And Rex Rex says, this T-Rex is on Team Andy, Team Mike, Team Jane, Team Ellen, Team Luke, Team James and Team John. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We're all on the... We're all on, on everyone's team, team yeah, I think. Let's all agree. Ah, book. A book on the first inhabitants of the Ooh. island. Were they fish? Seems they got yeah, they were fishmen. Johnny Salmon. <laughs> Ian. Dave Mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> Dave and Ian, Ian Mackerel. And Dave Mackerel. <laughs> they're brothers. Yeah. Uh, cool. That's fine. I learned some more medicine from a book. 
Look at the floor in the room with the bandages, says Mar Hawkman. Ah, okay, cool, thanks for the tip. That's the main hallway, right? So I need uh, to look yeah. at the floor. Where are the bandages? Do I get the zipper out when there's a when there's a clue? Is that how it works? I don't know. Is, are you not pressing that to get the No, it's just popping out every so often. Look at the look at the floor. I mean there's a ladder. Any clues? Any clues? That's a drunken sailor. That's a vase. Go back upstairs. There's another room. It says Shayna Arsenault. Ah, okay, cool. Thanks. To back up these stairs, presumably, because the other ones. Yeah, I with can't the library. Get up. Yeah. There's another room. Go back upstairs in the library. Aha. Uh -huh. Says also Jaleer Abraham. Oh yes. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, guys. I shall continue my investigation. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, Anton Wellard. I wonder if he is Wellard. Anthony Ingram says new video idea. Most ridiculous things that blocked your path in games that actual people would have just stepped over. <laughs> that is a good idea. That is. I do like that. Hey Anthony. Uh, Anthony is a very good car journalist. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I am um, screenshotting that because that's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> we are fully stealing that. Yeah. That is now the permit. The, uh, the boys. The possession of. Uh, <laughs> Oh, reconstruction scene. Uh, Richard Anastasi says, Thank, uh, take another few bucks for pronouncing my name correctly. That Amazing. almost never happens. You're yeah. welcome. I mean, it almost never happens when we try and pronounce things. Yeah, so, true. Yeah, it really yeah. is a, uh, a freak occurrence. Um, a child's fort. From what thread was Simon protecting his world? He's a kid. He was playing soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> You're overreaching a bit. A bit, a bit here. existential. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, shout out to Emily... Uh, Kuiper, Kipper, who um, her and her husband are about to find out the gender of our first baby. Ah, oh, cool. Love. love you guys. Good luck. Yes, so good luck. I mean, I mean, they're I both good. Yeah, they're both really <laughs> yeah. good. Like. So, um, yeah, but I hope it all goes well. Miss Toxic Shock says, don't worry, guys. Sleeping. Inspector Mike is on the job. Yeah. Strong. Oh, my God, he's taking sleeping pills. What was Francis wrong? Morris says, this library has my entire reading list. Must steal. <laughs> nice. Like, Think you can pick them up pretty cheaply if they're out of copyright, and you don't what have to go to a horrible fish monster. Vision. That's true. So, it's something like Kindle, probably. Yeah, it's true. Don't even have to go to Dark Water. Simon's, Simon's troubles went beyond. Uh, creepy Charles drawings. Who had that on no, the no. drinking game? Yeah, everyone drink. <laughs> everyone drink. take a drink. <laughs> all the editions I had of these books um, at university were the Wordsworth Classic editions, which right. all had uh, prefaces written by professors at my university and That's amazing. the people who were taking my seminars on these mm. books, so I could like quote them in my essays and they always uh, gave me extra marks for quoting them. Wait, you're saying that one of the texts for one of your courses was written by your yeah, person and yeah, they were like sure. so yeah. what do you think I was thinking when I wrote this? Yeah, my post-colonial literature course um, my professor on that one of the books on the course was uh, his novel mm. um, it was By the Sea by Abdul Razak Gurner and he was <laughs> There was no ambiguity oh, in his yeah. seminars about what the author might have meant. No, was, uh, incorrect, Barrent. Yeah. This is what I was thinking. <laughs> Barbiturates. I don't actually really know what they are, but it sounds bad. Oh, I'm going to try and pick another lock. I'm really bad at this. At least it's letting you have a go at it. Yeah, it's no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, at least you gave it a try. Can I not read a book about padlocks and then know how to do it? <laughs> My dad learned how to padlock recent, uh, pick locks recently. Really? Yeah. What's he? Is he boosting cars or what's he doing? No, he just uh, thought it would be an interesting uh, challenge, intellectual exercise. I think. That's fine and cool. He bought, he bought me a set of lock picks for Christmas last year, um, in the hope that I would do the same. And I, uh, I'm still, I'm meaning to give it a go. It it's does, quite hard. Yeah, I can imagine it's pretty hard. But it sounds, it does sound interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Right, we can't get up there. Oh, but there's a. When I, I got a little green, green noticey question okay. mark. There, there we go. There's yeah. Something around here. Oh, does it like flash when you're close? Yeah. To the thing? There's a clue or something. Okay. Ah. Oh. Aha! Look, there you go. The key. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That's a pretty good one to yeah. to find. Yeah. Good thing you invested those points. Uh, that's the lock down here, isn't it? That's the one. Yeah. That talking about. John Sharpen says, "Loving all the Halo streams. Top content as always. Can't say they're off to learn Russian. No Stay spooked, boys. Uh, good luck with the Russian learning. Yeah. And uh, thanks for the Halo stream, love. Hello. Oh, it's not that key then. So what's? 
Is it this key? <laughs> Brandon Newbat says, feel free not to answer this, but it's are you doing all these hallow streams because neither of you wants to edit videos? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's not that we don't want to it's just we don't really and he edited a video a this week it yeah, was a Red, Dead. A Red Dead video yeah. this week so um, we still we do still have a lot of editing to do yeah we do Yeah, it's just um, we also enjoy spooky streaming office key okay is it inspect but I, it won't use it on her the, office is this maybe that isn't her office yeah I guess it must be downstairs maybe then we, this is the kids room I feel like there's going to be a lot of hauntings going on in her office. Yeah, that would be where the main spookings occur. Yeah, right? definitely. Definitely. It'll be just full of weird paintings, won't it? Uh, carry on, carry on. More lightning, just to freak me out a bit. Uh... <laughs> Is this. Uh, Strangle Me Almost says any classic book recommendations? We talk about classic. Frankenstein is a really good book. Yeah. Uh, you should read The Great Gatsby as well. Yep, yeah, that's a good good classic. Um, um, what else? I'm looking at my shelves. There's a lot of classic sci-fi in here, actually. Yeah. But um, Where's... Moby Dick is uh, really hard work. I would uh. probably not recommend reading Moby Dick. If you want to read some Herman Melville, uh, he's got a story called Bartleby the Scrivener, which is a lot... Oh, yeah. I think... More, I think it's, it's definitely yeah. It's more digestible. That's the that's the way to put it. Oh, what's this? Charles Hawkins. Kathleen Alfonso says thanks to your Hitman playlist. I now find myself watching all your vids daily. Love what you guys do. Shout out to my little bros, Miguel and Josh. Oh, nice. Shout out Miguel and Josh. Yeah, thank you for hey watching. Guys. Uh, more Hitman video soon when Hitman Two comes out. It's always fun to find out how people discovered the YouTube channel and yeah. stuff, and and the different directions people come in from. So yeah, anyone any idea where Sarah's office is? Because <laughs> It must be upstairs then. I can't. I can't think of any locked doors up here. So. It's got it. I mean, it must be uh, over this way. Deontay Johnson says, "Do you listen to any music or podcasts while editing?" I actually, I can't. It's basically because, impossible. Yeah, if you're you trying to edit a video, it's like you need to be listening to the sound. There we go. I found it. So yeah, you basically can't really. I know a lot of people... Um, uh oh Andy, look at this. Oh, well, this is... I mean... I mean... Yeah, yeah it's your classic... Uh, Hawkins, it's your classic spooky ritual. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? <laughs> no. I am such a bad detective. <laughs> Man, I'm glad you put all those points into occultism. <gasps> really feel, oh, dang. What's with the... This legend weird, lists all like, man face. Sarah Hawkins. Jeez. Ah. All right, well, she's making a lot out of... Uh... Didn't sell any to Cthulhu. Oh, look, the Shambler. That doesn't sound like a yeah. pleasant painting. So who was it for? Oh, since the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. Francis Sanders. Mm. Okay. And it was called the Shambler. Oh, look, I could get an actual detective's magnifying glass, then I'd be a real detective. <laughs> Lots of weird heads, melty heads, creepy heads... Uh, that's cool. Another door here. When are we going to get Where's haunted, Andy? The other side? Never. Cthulhu isn't big on jump scares. I don't know. Really? Despite what happened, they seem. Yucky says, "Any thoughts on the Swiss Family Robinson?" Uh, I've not I've not read it. Read it. I've been on the Swiss Family Robinson treehouse thing at Disneyland. <laughs> right. It's all right. <laughs> so that, <there's> <laughs> well, there you go. There's your literary opinion from outside Xbox for the day. Commander Jose Arachavala, Jake Janeway says, I totally plan on out-stealthing you, Andy, and out-exploding you, Mike, in Hitman 2. How are you going to do both? Yeah. You can't do both. It's impossible to do At the same time, both. you've got to pick a, pick a path. Uh, I guess you could do two playthroughs. Or just alternate missions. One yeah. explodey, one silent. Yeah, why not? Back to back. I think they're both equally valid ways to play the game. Oh, no. Michelle E says, Andy says, read Seems Bartleby the Scribner. I say, I would prefer not to. That's a reference to Bartleby the Scribner. Well, there you go. Good literary reference, Michelle. Okay, new clue memorised. Nude clue. New clue, oh, okay. Andy. <laughs> right, I was, was going to say. The nude clues are when we do the reconstructions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's a chandelier. What happened here? Look at these scratches oh, on the God. door. A Cthulhu definitely popped yeah. out of this horrible portal. Are you portal. not reconstructing in here? No, no, oh, apparently not. I think you would. Oh, wait. Seek this the door. door's blo blocked. The right. door is blocked on the other side. I... Oh, that's mysterious. What's that? Card I, yeah, it's the one where they're like, "Oh, we love each other and stuff." Okay. 
Um, even stuff. though we hate each other. Uh, whoa! Bradley. Oh, Brad! Oh, Thank the door's open. Spookening. Oh my god, there's claws everywhere. Is anyone oh, here we go. Oh, Spookening's <laughs> happening, Andy. <laughs> Dapper Horror says, "How sure are we that this guy's a detective?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've only got his word for it. <laughs> the main thing he's achieved is drinking three shots of whiskey in quick succession. Yeah. <laughs> All you've done is turn up, get drunk, insult yeah. the local police force, <laughs> try to break into a warehouse. Get Working pretty well jump. so far. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, going super well. <laughs> super well. All right, let's give this ten minutes to wrap up this yeah. old mansion this chapter and see what is going on. Oh, oh that's my Benjamin God! Us. It's Andy Barrett from Outside it's not Xbox. Andy, it's nothing like me. He, <laughs> he, he wishes. <laughs> Gasp, spookening is ensuing. Spookening! Oh my. What is it? Get after it. Go! Run! run. Dash! Stop. Tackle! Stop. Did you disappear? No, he jumped off the balcony. Oh, uh, right. Go! Downstairs! I guess I'm, oh, I'm yes. doing it. I did it! Yes, parkour! Old timey parkour. Oh, wait, no, it's the Bradley. Bradley. Maybe it was Bradley. And he's just whipped off his. Oh, God. You are the worst officer, officer of fish police. Yeah. A man was I've ever seen. Chase him. What's that eyeball that's just popped up in the? I don't know. It's bad though. Um, this Lara Odilian says, I'm telling Jane that Andy and Mike specialise in nude reconstructions on this channel when they're in charge. <laughs> no, don't tell Jane. No, we'll don't tell her about any of the stuff we've done. It looks like an old seaway man. Oh, if only we had a pursuit skill. Is that, is that what we needed? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. We Wait, had a shotgun. Oil has been refilled. What, we oh, had okay. limited oil? I know it. Oh, look, a panel. Movable panels. Move Seek oh, my yes. God. Yes. Cogs. They must be linked. Oh my god. Open it. I want to. Alright. I would love Pull to. Pull out every book. Pull every book. Shall I force the gear do you, chain? Do you, do you have any strength? You can try. Maybe. It. Damnation. Yeah. I Damnation. I, gears. I need a tool. I am a tool. Such a tool. Can you pull out a secret book? There's there gotta a, be a... Yeah, surely. A book lever. That... 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 Yeah, open. Uh, open it, please. Oh, that was easy. That was way easier than trying to yeah. force the gears. Joshua oh, Bradley cool. says it was me the whole time. So that's that mystery Oh, uh, okay, we solved it. Brilliant. We can leave Darkwater now. All right, Andy. Definitely cult meeting happening. Yeah, happening down, down in the basement. basement. They're just constantly... Yeah. They're ongoing. Cthulhu. 24-7 cult meetings. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is like this is a bit like the rats in the walls because the guy hears like all these like scritching sounds in the walls, like he thinks of yeah. rats, and then he they're like sending him mad and stuff, and then he goes in and he finds this whole like crazy occult city underneath his house. Yeah. And then uh, amazing. Yeah. He's like becoming more and more sort of primitively brained as he descends oh, further into okay. the earth and stuff. It's uh, and then he ends up eating his mate. <laughs> spoilers. Sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody eating his mate. Yeah. Emma MacArthur says this game kind of reminds me of the Heart of Stone DLC for The Witcher, where you go into the painting, miserable couple, occult symbols, weird smudged art, a mysterious fire. It's all there. Yeah. That sounds like good DLC, like Lovecraftian Witcher DLC. Yeah. I'd play that. Witcher's at its best when it's kind of creepy and yeah. sort of story led. I'm not that bothered about the combat in The Witcher, really. To be honest, I like it's the... like a detective novel. Says Officer. <laughs> Do You're you a take, policeman, like. Can you take this seriously, please? Right, quick reconstruction. Let's see a few butts, and then we'll <laughs> move on. The Santa de Silva says, "Guys, I am not sure, but seems she was into the occult." <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can't be sure right now. The meeting with a couple of hitmans. <laughs> that all these robed people. What is this mask supposed to represent? Cthulhu, obviously. Think, yeah. So he was into it with his haircut. Yeah. Uh, new member Warlock Unicorn thanks for joining us thanks for, thanks for coming along yeah and Ishan Darnishan is donating for Andy mentioning the rats in the walls yeah yeah Cthulhu hang <laughs> pretty struggling with the Cthulhu I still can't speak great old one uh, anything else what do I? What else do I need to look at I've looked at the chest looked at this 
Look to what's the what the ruddy hell's this thing? Oh, that's <laughs> oh, weird. Wow. Uh, statue. Weeping not, angel. Not interested in that. All good. All good. Down here, anything? Oh yes. Spot hidden. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. <laughs> oh, so all right. Here. Was she into the occult? <laughs> Who can say? All right. Literally no way of knowing. I've done my reconstructions. All right. The okay. underground oh. antechamber. Should I just kick him in? Kick him in. Do it. <laughs> oh, God, I'm stuck inside. Oh, my God, you're in his mouth. <laughs> oh. oh, that was weird. Oh, yeah, that was some Cthulhu stuff. Right All right. There. Descend into the depths. I don't have time to hang about now. See if you eat your mate. <laughs> you eat Officer Bradley. He can be in my mouth as I dine on his face. Mark Little says of limited course. oil and gear puzzles. Oh, God, it's amnesia. Oil, <laughs> Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. Okay. You're a good detective. The passage continues further down. Might as well start. With yeah, that. might as well. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. Oh, he's like See, Farrah from Prince of Persia. In this game, you have a sanity, right? Uniform. I don't know if you have a, like a meter as much as I think. Just I'll try my luck. It kind of. I think it's more like story-based sanity stuff. I remember talking to the developers, and they were like, mm. "Yeah, you lose sanity at certain points, and you can never regain it." And you need to have a certain amount to get the good ending or something. Oh, right. That so, sounds bad. Well, I suspect what's going to happen here is all fine. Yeah. Well, here in this sewer. In this horrible underwater mm -hmm. sewer. Yeah, seems chill. It seems good and normal. Uh, Can I squeeze through anywhere? No. Oh, here we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a Put definitely your face good right idea. Into it. Put your face right in the gap. Yeah, I heard a weird creepy uh -huh. noise. That's look, fine yeah, as well. Don't look ahead of you and yeah. What's that? It's a cult. That's what it is. It's like a Blair Witch thing. I'm kind yeah. of a dream catcher. If I touch it, it will turn to dust. What? Says who? I'm going to put my head on it. <laughs> Headbutt it. Oh. Well, this all seems, yes, seems... very Blair Witchy. Sticks yeah. and stuff in the forest. It's fine. I'm just rushing through this to uh, so we can see so some we can spooky, see a, a spooky thing. Yeah, jump, jump down. Jump. Yeah, I've earned a character point. You've earned the insane clown posse. <laughs> yes. Look at all this. Yeah, this is pretty occult. Yeah. This is how he got in and out. Time has weakened these structures. Yeah, I'm Again. just going to run across all of them. Amazing detective. <laughs> okay. You're going down, right down into the heart of the speaker. I don't know. Do I want to go here? What glowing thing? Light source. Yeah. Green fire. Someone's been good. here recently having a green fire. Yeah. This will be locked, won't it? Oh, oh nice. Okay. Pretty good. Oh. <gasps> Is it a cult meeting? <gasps> There's some people lying What's on this. What's here? What? Yes. Yes, look at that. Yes. Total Cthulhu monk down there. Keep your voice down. <laughs> Keep your voice down. <laughs> We're not alone. Right. right, I want you to run down there and drop kick that Cthulhu monk. Okay, cool. Uh, if it gives me the option, I will 100% do that. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. <laughs> Reckless Rex says, oh hey, like spike. Are we doing that? Oh yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's, let's do a like spike, boys. Okay. Right, we're going to do it on three. Yep. I'm going to do it as well. One, two, three. Everybody press like. Ah, uh, like spike. Ah, uh, like spike it. to the face. Is that the weapon you're going to use against the Cthulhu? Yeah, I'm going to like spike Cthulhu in the face. Oh, look. This Andy will walk in, says Windy DeSalvo. That is, that's good advice. No, Andy. I'm just going to sprint in. <gasps> Andy, look. Oh, it's our picture and it's on the altar. We're going to be the offering. Look. Oh my god. Yeah? No, that's bad. Don't go there. It's me. It... <laughs> You're just going to have another <laughs> like, real close up. Uh, is it I me? Don't look that much like me. Mm. I think this is a painting of Andy Farron from Apple. It's all Oh no! Oh no! He's going to. And he's, he's ruined your hair as well. <laughs> oh no! Oh. This is the one thing we didn't want to And then we died. Wow. Ah, oh, we're in the whale guts that we had a bad dream about. Oh no, <laughs> it was a premonition. Let's find out if the bolt cutters work oh, or not. Boy. Where's the cultist as well that we presumably landed on? Oh, wow. Well. He can't breathe. Ah, oh, shouldn't have drunk all that whiskey, Andy. Ah, oh, Jordan Steer says, I loved By the Sea. I read it twice, being lectured by Gurner is super, super cool. <laughs> it was. He's really, uh, really nice guy. Really good uh, teacher and, um, yeah, taught me a lot. Look, Andy, I can tell oh, this is a sanity thing. Because you're losing sanity out of your face. Yes. <laughs> it's like steam. Yeah, it's coming off you. 
That is exactly how it works. Uh, uh, cool. I mean, oh, I can get out. This looks all right. This is probably fine. Great. All right. Well, it's probably time to wrap up then, because everything yeah. will be fine forever. Yeah, exactly. Look, look, this see, it's, it's basically daytime, yeah. isn't it? Can't believe we got stabbed in the eye. Is oh, there's a cultist. Yeah, no. All right, now You'll I'll soon get... become a fish person. You'll soon be one of us. Get the flying kick ready. Your body and mine. Right, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. Boy. I am ready. Worst, worst <laughs> fraternity I ever. I have constant visions and bad headaches and I'm having the worst time ever. I'm finally ready to join your terrible cult. Now to hit them with the bolt cutters. Now to, yeah, hit them in the back of the head, flying kick. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going for it. What? They, they really, they cover distance. Like, oh, really quickly. They've locked you out. You, you know what? In. I don't want to spoil the story too much, such as it is. So I All think right. we should probably wrap up there. Any any last comments? Uh, yes. So about what a brilliant detective I am. Uh, Sophie Kanishi's a new member, and hey. Christopher Geppi or Jeppy says finally caught a live stream. Wanted to say thanks for the constant entertainment. P.S. Horson Wells' father should have been named Citizen Maine. That's a good yeah. pun. That's yeah, a good yes. pun. Yes. Um, <laughs> any other comments? Finley Clark says, I love it when I get stressed and start hissing like a kettle. That's a new one on me. Uh, <laughs> wow. That's pretty good. From where? <laughs> uh, and yes, yeah, Sophie Kanishi thinks that we should quit while we're ahead. <laughs> well, quit while we still have a head. Dennis Hayden says, call me fish mail, which is an excellent Moby <laughs> Dick that's joke. That's excellent. Yeah. Well done. And that's a failed sanity roll. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah. yeah, it certainly is. Get the flying kick ready. <laughs> yeah. And Alex H says, just a little something for you all to have a happy spook stay. Oh, we will. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, so much for joining us. Yes. Um, if you want to head over up to Eurogamer's channel now, they're streaming. Oh, yeah, they're doing a charity live stream. There's... Do you know what they're streaming? Uh, I don't know what they're streaming right now. I can Some find out. horror game. Let's find out. I'm heading over to Eurogamer's stream right now. In the meantime, if you uh, want to definitely catch our last live stream, it's uh, our last Halloween live stream, that is. Uh, we're going live same time tomorrow, 4pm UK time, um, playing Friday the 13th. That looks like an Outlast type thing, doesn't it? Like, oh. With the mobile phone and stuff. Yeah. Um, now maybe this is, um, oh, what was it called? Get, get Even? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. They're streaming something. They're, they're having a really good time. There. It's for a good cause. Uh, yeah, so go and say hi to go those check guys. Go check them out. Uh, yeah, let them know we sent you as yeah. well. And um, uh, yeah, we'll hope to see you tomorrow for um, some Friday the 13th. Yes. Uh, uh, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time we go live, if you enjoyed this stuff. We do do live streams uh, semi-regularly on Fridays, and that will resume when the whole team is back in town. Yeah, they'll all be back from Australia. A few days' time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for joining us, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow for some Friday the 13th. Ooh. Ooh. That's what he says. That's okay. Says. <laughs> you've, you've just, you've just lost the sanity roll. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right, see, see you tomorrow. Bye.